Are we, are we on? Are we, are we doing this? Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Getting Baked with Crystal. Thank you so much for joining us back again on our regularly scheduled night, regularly scheduled time, back to normal. Um, sorry, we're a little late. I had some wardrobe malfunctions twice this week. I've had two of my favorite pairs of socks get holes in them, and I didn't know what to do. I, I, I had a malfunction. So here I am with my fancy new apron. I will have to look up. I meant to do that. <laughs> Thank you. I meant to do that before we started, but I will look up the store that I I got it from on Etsy. The seller was super awesome, super easy to work with. It's a beautiful, cute little apron with a little pocket. I don't know that I'll put anything in it. I've never actually baked with an apron. It's not really my thing, but I thought it worked for the show and it has cats and it's cute. So let me know what you think. Tonight we are making lemonade. We are making lemon blueberry muffins. These muffins are delicious. I love blueberry muffins. I've never been able to really capture that, that bakery style flavor that you get in blueberry muffins. I tried tons and tons of recipes, have never quite gotten it right. Be honest with you, this recipe doesn't have it either, but it has lemon, so it doesn't matter because it tastes like lemon, it's delicious. Um, we got a super chat already from Helen. Thank you so much, Helen, with the Inu with the heart. Appreciate you, thank you. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, another super chat from Jordan. Thank you. I've got my alcohol and gummy worms and I'm all set. Let's get baked with Crystal. Yay. I, I have some alcohol too. Not gonna lie, this might be some flat leftover Stella Rosa wine, but I'm here for it. I don't care. Don't judge me. Uh, people like your cape. Yeah, you guys like it? It's cute. Can I add vodka to the lemonade? Absolutely. Why wouldn't you? It's actually really good. I did that one time. I brought it to my mom's house back when we were allowed to do things. Actually, I think the, the weekend all of this started, my mom's birthday was, is March 13th. We went to her house and I brought some homemade lemonade and we mixed it with vodka. So yes, absolutely. Make the, the lemonade regular first, then mix it with vodka like you would with any other juice. Jess says, OMG, your hair is adorable. Thanks. It's <laughs> Today was a crazy day, you guys. I am exhausted. It was such a busy week. I didn't work for two weeks. And then I went back and I forgot how to work. I, I was just kind of in a blur the whole <laughs> week. It was kind of weird. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Hey, you look great. Love the apron. Thank you, Shannon. Hello, Crystal and Dan. I'm glad you're all feeling so much better. Thank you, Megan. Me too. I realized today at the end of the day, I was like, it's been a long week and I'm exhausted, but I'm like normal exhausted, not I'm going to die exhausted. So that that's a good feeling. Uh, are you going to make anything for Valentine's Day? Yes, I actually sat down this week and I made a spreadsheet. I need to start planning things out. I need, I need to take this seriously. We're not just hanging out and drinking and baking. I'm helping you guys learn how to bake better. Um, I... I apologize, I don't remember who it was, but somebody sent us a Christmas card who thanked me for inspiring them to bake again. And no joke, that made me feel so good. That's the point of this. I love when people are inspired by what I do rather than just the, oh, I wish I could bake like you. Guess what, you can, you just do it. Sometimes it doesn't turn out good. Try again, try a different recipe, try something else. You'll get good at it, I promise you. You find the things that you're good at making, you find the good recipes, and guess what, now you're good at baking. So awesome, I'm glad I can inspire you guys. So I did make a spreadsheet. I am trying to plan out for specific holidays. Um, I haven't picked anything yet, but I will be doing something themed for Valentine's Day, Super Bowl, Mardi Gras. I wanna make a king cake for Mardi Gras. What? The way you said it. What? Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. It's like it's first name, last name. Oh, first name Marty, last name <laughs> Gras. Stop judging Mr. Me. Gras. We had king cake once from New Orleans. We had some friends there who sent us king cake. I think two years in a row they sent it to us. That stuff is amazing. I don't know if you guys have ever had it. Um, I will definitely be making a king cake this year. I want to try that out. It's pretty basic bread, like a cinnamon roll type bread thing with some frosting on top. I think it'll be pretty easy. Terry says, ooh, king cake. You might have to come out to have some of that, Terry. I, I might be able to bribe you to come out here. I found a recipe for groundhog cookies and just bought a groundhog cookie cutter. Groundhog cookies? Do they taste like real groundhogs? Are they made with real groundhogs? I'm interested. I need to know more. What if you grinded them up? Would they be ground groundhogs? <laughs> yes. Uh, Adrian wants to know where's the SpaghettiOs. Um, I do have some in the cupboard, I think. When we Instacarted when we were, while we were sick, we put two cans of SpaghettiOs on there, but on the Instacart website, they did not have SpaghettiOs with meatballs. So I just ordered two cans of regular SpaghettiOs. That Instacarter came through with a can of regular and a can of meatballs. She knew what we wanted. Samantha says, I had a stressful day, but I'm here. Let's de-stress. If it's your thing, have a drink. Let's relax. Let's make some lemonade. What else we got? 
Dan wants to know if you're doing a Super Bowl themed baking show. Yes, I am. I do have some stuff in mind. I'm, I'm gonna narrow it down. The plan is to have my spreadsheet all laid out so I can be on top of things a little bit better, let you guys know ahead of time what's coming so you guys can plan to bake ahead. Um, as always, I try to post on Wednesday. This, this week was a little difficult. Monday was a struggle to get back into the swing of things, but I do always post the recipes ahead of time so you guys can get the ingredients and bake along with me. Um, spoiler alert, I think it's gonna be homemade peanut butter cups. Um, in the shape of footballs, because I've done that before for Super Bowl, and everybody loved it at a party I went to. I don't know if there's any parties happening this year, but I think that would be a fun thing to make. I followed football enough that we'll have a Super Bowl day. Like, we'll get some, like... like we, we can have a Super Bowl day. We we'll just won't be at a party with people. A Super Bowl day means everything's, like, snack foods. <laughs> <laughs> That's just an excuse for Dan to eat finger foods and junk food. Yes. Uh, I need to scroll up here so I can see... Nancy says, I learned to bake on my Easy Bake Oven, my poor dad. <laughs> so did I. Light bulb cooking for the win. Um, it works. It's, it's good enough. It's a good start for little kids. But, you know, don't be afraid to, if you have kids, get them in the kitchen. Show them how to bake. It's easy. Don't let them be afraid of the kitchen. Charlotte says, I want to make a birthday card for Crystal, but I don't know when her birthday is. August 5th. It's quite a ways away. But don't worry. We'll be doing something special for Blake's birthday, my birthday, Dan's birthday. There's unbirthdays. There's unbirthdays. You can make me an unbirthday card. <laughs> So can we have an Easy Bake Oven versus Oven Baking? Dan uses the Easy Bake while Crystal makes it in a real oven. Oh, you're giving him the disadvantage that he, when he already has a disadvantage? That doesn't seem fair. Courtney says, I just figured out to make, how to make heart-shaped cupcakes. You should try some of those for Valentine's Day. That's an idea. I'm assuming that you, the trick you discovered was I've seen it with either marbles or a little ball of foil. You just stick it. You have your, your muffin cup. And you stick it in there and it squishes it down. I've never actually tried it, but there is an idea. I have, I was going through my Pinterest and just trying to figure out what kinds of things I've already made that I'd like to share with you guys. Things that, if you guys have a Pinterest and you're anything like me, you just pin everything. I, I'll sit on the couch watching TV at night, just pinning things, want to try, I have all kinds of boards. Want to try cookies, bread, breakfast, donuts. I have a million things on my Pinterest. So I was going through there and trying to kind of figure out making lists of things that I want to make. Um, let me know, you guys, if you want me to make more things like how we made lasagna, more things that aren't necessarily desserts. That's sort of my specialty. That's a, my go-to when I come into the kitchen. I want to make desserts, breakfasts, cakes. Well, not cakes, but like donuts, cupcakes, muffins, cookies, especially cookies. That's really my specialty. But I kind of had fun making the lasagna. And then, you know, I come home from work and do this show. I come home and I change my clothes and get ready and everything. We don't eat dinner. I haven't eaten dinner yet. So it was kind of nice on lasagna day that we did the show and, and we got to have dinner and we were done. Otherwise, we end the show and then we start rummaging through the cupboards. What can we eat? So I've been toying with the idea and I have a little list put together of perhaps trying more food items maybe that are bakeable in the oven. So let me know what you guys think of that. There are a lot of people here. You guys are going through the chat faster than I can keep up. But let's get started with some lemonade. So if you guys saw the recipe that I posted for this one, you will need a cup of freshly squeezed Meyer lemon juice. The recipe specifies Meyer. I don't know what I use because we actually get our lemons from a friend whose family has some orchards. So I don't know if they're Meyer lemons, but I just use whatever lemons. At the store, I think they only have one kind of lemon. I don't know if they specify the kind of lemon. Um, it also is not required for it to be freshly squeezed. Um, I very often, I get big batches of lemons and oranges. I squeeze, first I zest them. I zest all the outsides of them and I freeze that in a container. I just throw it in some Tupperware and stick it in there. Um, and then I squeeze my lemon juice. The trick that I use for lemon juice, I don't know if I've told you guys this before, get an ice cube tray measure by the tablespoon. That way you know exactly how much is in each ice cube. Don't just fill up the ice cube whole, but measure. That way when your recipe calls for three tablespoons, you know you have to grab three lemon cubes, lemon ice cubes, whatever you want to call them. Um, and that way you can freeze just a bunch of ice cubes. And I have a big Tupperware in there full of frozen lemon ice cubes and I just pull out what I need. Um, so again, they don't have to be fresh. You can use the frozen ones, they work just as well. There's been times when I wanna make lemon stuff right now and I'll just throw it in the microwave or I'll just let it sit out. If I know I'm gonna bake later, I'll pull it out and just throw it in a bowl, throw it in a Tupperware and let it sit until it has melted enough that I can use it. So aside from that, we need two cups of simple syrup, which is something you have to make are you over here taking deliveries? So simple syrup, as the name says, very simple to make. Um, 
That is just going to be sugar, water, and corn syrup. We make that on the stove. So that's what we're gonna start with because we have to make that on the stove and then it has to cool to room temperature. So I wouldn't advise making this right when you wanna drink it. You wanna let it cool down a little bit. You could probably throw it in the fridge to cool it down a little bit faster. I think we'll have enough time while we make the muffins that we can let this cool to room temperature. So let's start with that. The other ingredients for the lemonade are just gonna be water and ice, pretty basic. Um, I also posted, I think last night, cause I forgot to mention it. Um, that this does make enough for, f I, oh, off the top of my head, I wanna say it's four quarts, cause maybe three and a half quarts, I don't know. It's quite a bit. So depending on the size of your pitcher, you may not be able to fit all of it in there. I have two quart pitchers. So I'll make a batch of it and I'll measure out enough for two quarts and then I'll just save the rest and mix it up later, which is usually pretty quickly. The lemonade is really good. I've never had anybody taste it and say, I don't really care for it. It's not too sweet. It's not too tart. It's a really good perfect balance If you do like it more sweet or more tart add more sugar add more lemon juice play with the balance of the simple syrup Ratio with the lemon juice whatever you need to do to make it to your flavoring Okay, so for the simple syrup, we're just gonna combine all the ingredients in a medium saucepan So this is going to be two cups of sugar. I gotta go get my cups. I wasn't ready. What are you doing? Get your fingers out of there. I like to kind of mix this off of the stove because I don't want it to get too hot while I'm mixing the ingredients. You could pre-measure them and then run over to your stove and pour them all in there if you wanted to, but I'm a little slow and unprepared. So two cups of sugar. Remember when you're measuring your dry ingredients, you don't want to just randomly scoop them. You scoop and then you flatten on the top. I remember I took home ec in seventh or eighth grade, sometime in junior high. I went to a really cool junior high that had just been built and had a whole, the building was shaped like the number four and this whole straight part of the four was all like shop and home ec and all these really cool rooms that were built specifically for what it was. So that was a lot of fun. And in home ec, they taught us all kinds of things like this. And that's, I think that's about the time that I started realizing like, I can make things, I can do this. And then I went to a high school that was built in like the 40s and had nothing. We had trailers. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty sad. Mine was like literally built in the 40s. Yeah, I think Courtsville High School was too. Yeah. It was really old. So two cups of sugar and then two cups of water. Hey monkey, come entertain while I fill up some water. Uh, hi, hello everybody. Down out here looking like a set thug, no cap. I don't know what that means, but okay, hi, hello. Um, I'm always unprepared when baking, me too. I'm always scrambling around like it's that like uncooked game. <laughs> What's that uncooked game? Uh, the, or that cooking game, the one where you run around and you gotta like, cut the onions, you gotta put the meat on and the meat changes colors and you gotta move it around and grab the right. stuffs and chop the deals. You're always playing that game. Oh yeah, but my tap 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 cooking game? Yeah. Cause when I'm not cooking in real life, I like to play video games yeah. when I cook. It's weird, you'll make dinner and then you'll go sit down and make like, a bunch of video game people dinner. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys this fancy new tool that I got. I got this awesome whisk. I went and looked on Amazon because I could not find a good whisk in real life. I had, so when you use a nonstick pan, you don't want to use a metal whisk because you can scrape the bottom of the pan and scrape that nonstick coating off of it. So you want to use a silicone whisk. Um, the one that I had before was just like this, but it was coated in silicone. A few weeks ago when I was cooking something, I was stirring and noticed, hey, there's a chunk of something in there. And I pulled it out and it was a chunk of the silicone. It was starting to fall off of the whisk. And I decided I couldn't get another one like that because that was inevitably gonna happen again. So I went and looked, what options are there? This one, I don't even know it. Tovolo, T-O-V-O-L-O. -O. Dan, I think is working right now to add the link to our kit on getting baked with crystals. So give us just a minute and we will have that up there. Um, it's all like thick and solid and great. It's flat on the bottom so you can scrape on the bottom and actually get things off of it. It's got a little hole in it. Not really sure the purpose of that. I've used it a few times and it works really well. All the reviews were really, really high rated. People seem to love this. I tried to look and see if they had any other kitchen tools that I might like. Not so much, but the whisk I really, really like. So two cups of sugar, two cups of water while I'm doing that. 
I see a super chat from Courtney who says a wild Dan appears and another one from PJ and fan vlogs. Go check him out on YouTube. If you guys haven't already, he says a bakery near me makes blueberry glazed sourdough donuts. Ever had heard of those? No, I have not. I've had blueberry donuts. Funny story. I got donuts like a month ago at work and I was down to like getting one more and I'm like, eh, give me that blueberry donut. It was like a cake donut that was blueberry. It sat there. I got the ones that I liked, so I wasn't going for that one. But it sat there and nobody ate it and I'm pretty sure it got thrown away. But yeah, I'm down for blueberry glazed sourdough donuts. That sounds good. Not a huge fan of sourdough bread, but I try. Look, I love donuts. I really love donuts. I would try any donut. You cannot disappoint me with a donut. I'll, I might judge it, especially if it comes from McDonald's, but I will try a donut. PJ also says they also make pineapple upside down cake that's so good. Just some ideas. Friday is my second favorite F word. Food is my first. I'm with you on that. Um, pineapple upside down cake is something that I have really enjoyed when I've had it. I have not had it often and I've always thought that I should make one. Just never got around to it. I usually tend to stick to my go-to. So that's another reason I'm excited to be doing this show. I want to mix in, yeah, I talked in the beginning about how I want to stick with the stuff that I, I know how to make and I'm, I'm doing that and I, I enjoy showing you guys stuff that I know is going to work. But I also want to try some new things. I am a little scared that I'm going to fail and then we're not going to have any delicious snacks at the end of the show, but that's okay. Like I tell you guys, don't sweat it. Sometimes that happens. So once you mix, can you see this? The sugar in the water, the sugar will dissolve in there. So you've just got kind of a white liquid and then we're going to add a tablespoon of corn syrup. If I was a more scientifically inclined type of person, I could tell you what the corn syrup does. I know what it does in some things, not really sure what it does here, but add a tablespoon of it. It's really, really thick and sticky and that's a little bit more than a tablespoon. They say baking is a science and you have to be accurate, but sometimes I'm not. That's okay though, because a lot of it sticks to the tablespoon and doesn't even get into the pan. Sorry, I have to wash this off or it's gonna get all gross in the measuring cup. Oh, Dan, I need help because I need a towel and your tripod is blocking it. Thank you. All right. Husky Tail says, I have apple cherry strudel scentsy wax in my wax warmer and it's making me want to try making actual cherry strudels. Do it. My favorite waxes to put in my wax melts are food flavored ones. And Dan, I'm sure you guys have heard Dan if you've watched anything that we do, he's always like, what are you making? That's my Scentsy. That's my caramel streusel, apple cake, whatever, everything delicious in there. I don't want it to smell like flowers. I don't want it to smell like fresh linen. I want it to smell like cupcakes. Um, my favorite ones are like blueberries and lemons and stuff like that. The, let it smell like delicious baking. And then sometimes I'm inspired to bake because of it. Jordan with the super chat, you've gotten so much more comfortable in front of the camera and I absolutely love it. Also, do you know what a chess pie is? Do not know what a chess pie is and thank you. I, you know, I have my moments and I feel like having two weeks of not being able to do this kind of made me a little more excited for it. I like interacting with you guys. I like showing you guys how to make things, even though, you know, I was hesitant to, hesitant to do it because a lot of people that you see baking, they know what they're doing. They're professionals and they'll educate you about what the corn syrup does in the stuff. So I was kind of hesitant to put myself out there when I don't know that stuff because I don't want to be called out on you don't even know that stuff. But, you know, you guys might not know that stuff either, but you can still make delicious snacks. So go for it. <laughs> Jim Johnson says, oh, man, there's so many words coming at my sleepy brain. Sorry, wake up. Here I am. I'm alive. I'm excited to be alive. And you guys don't understand. Dan and I didn't talk for almost two weeks. Husky Tails, you might like cocoa lime scent. I might have to send you some. I'm guessing cocoa is coconut and then lime. Not a huge fan of coconut, like eating it. Not sure how it smells. I don't think I've ever smelled anything with coconut in it. Love lime. So yeah, maybe. Mouse Queen with the super chat. Ordered in pizza for dinner. Hashtag Domino's for the win. I'm with you on that. If you guys haven't seen it, we had Papa John's stuffed crust pizza this week. Dan did a food review. Go check it out on our channel after we're done doing this, of course, and, and see what we thought of that. All right, so we are moving to the stove. Are we set up in a particular spot? Are we over here? Sure. Is that better? Anywhere you'd like to be. Okay, I've been running my mouth. I should probably check my recipe and what it says. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this 
over a medium high heat and stir until all of the sugar is dissolved and the liquid looks clear. So you guys can see it now, it does look kind of white-ish. We wanna wait until it's completely clear and then this will be done. This is literally all you have to do besides mixing it. Lemonade is super easy to make. I don't know why everybody doesn't make it all the time. Once you make this, I guarantee you will never want to have store-bought sugary lemonade ever again. This stuff has sugar in it. You saw me put two cups of sugar in here. There's a lot of sugar in it, but it doesn't have that sickly sweet sugary taste that store-bought lemonade has. It doesn't have that fake tanginess that store-bought lemonade has. It's got such a natural lemon flavor that is so good. I promise this will change the way you drink lemonade. I see a super chat. Can you read that? Yes, yeah, mouth so clear with the away? super chat. I got the weens to go with it. Hee hee. Nice. Ooh, Not my thing, good. but I know Dan likes some weens. That sounds good. So as long as your sugar is already dissolved, you don't really have to continually stir this, but you don't really want to bring it to a boil. You just want to make the, the liquid clear. So it just takes a few minutes and we just do this. And now I'm far away from everything well, and I can't read anything. Well, while you're doing that, a few things. Um, we didn't get to see your ratings of the pizza crystal. Um, there was a few people that commented on that video that they did not get your ratings. Because here's, here's the thing. I've been selling this storyline for the last two pizza reviews of you rating the garlic sauce. So I made sure there was garlic sauce. Oh, look. I just wasn't feeling it yesterday. That, that's really all it comes down to. I wasn't feeling being on camera, but I'm making up for it tonight, right? Um, I'll give you my review. I, I liked it. Um, one of my favorite pizzas, especially from Papa John's, is the spinach Alfredo pizza. I felt like the, the spinach last night was a little bit lacking visually, but it tasted delicious. I love their Alfredo sauce. Um, I love their pizza. Their crust is usually a little lacking. I like Domino's because they season their crust, so it has a little more flavor to it. It's like a breadstick, but the stuffed crust was good. Look, I'm always disappointed by stuffed crust because the cheese is always kind of congealed, and it's always it always feels like there's a big tube of dough that's kind of halfway filled with cheese, so it's Maybe I should try making our own pizza. I used to. Back in the day when Blake was little, we used to make our own pizza all the time. Yeah, it was fun, but boring. It's time consuming. <sighs> the dough. It's the dough. It's all about the, the dough. dough. Yes, but maybe we should try that again. I, we should make a stuffed crust pizza sometime so I can have it the way that I want it to be because I'm always disappointed by it. That, sound, that, that sounds fun. <laughs> Sam with the uh, super chat. Dan, you spelled whisk wrong. <laughs> Did he spell wisp again? <laughs> You're wisps! You whisk the stuff around! <laughs> oh, jeez. You, you, whisk, you whisk the stuff around. No, it's mm. not a wisp. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I always frame the... I always frame this oven cam, the stove cam, for you to have all the burners. And you're always and just... And I always only use one. Yeah. Look, unless it's burrito night, I'm not using can, all the burners. I can make it bigger so we can see what you're doing. Watch. Maddie says, hey, Aww. everyone, watching you bake makes my day better. Haven't gotten good news lately. I'm sorry, Maddie. Hey, here's my idea. Make your own good news. Go make some fun. Go make some delicious snacks. It'll cheer everybody up, I promise. If you guys look, you can see it is starting to get a little more clear. You can see the scratches on the bottom of my pan. Oh, Adrian says, we'll never order Papa John's ever again, especially what they did to Papa. I don't know any of the background drama, sorry. Look, I, I used to exclusively eat Papa John's spinach Alfredo pizza, and then I got a few really bad, like, greasy, gross-looking ones, and we didn't eat it for years. We switched to Domino's. It was around the time Domino's came out with their new version of their crust that was more seasoned and better flavored, and we just started eating Domino's all the time. That was the first time I've had Papa John's in forever. Mouse Queen with a super chat. My special order is a handmade pan pizza with Alfredo sauce, hamburger, pineapple, ham, and bacon, and I think I also got banana peppers. My favorite thing about Papa John's, too, is they always throw a little banana pepper in there. I had never had banana peppers before then, and now it's a staple. There's pepperoncinis in my fridge all the time. That, that's a go-to. Cyber Husky, have you worked for Domino's when we met? He makes good pies. Knows how to throw it in the air and everything. That is awesome. My high school boyfriend, high school and college boyfriend, worked for a pizza place, and he was always bringing home bags of stuff, and, and I think maybe that might even be where our old pizza pans that we have came from, that are forever old. He would bring home pizza pans, and he'd throw the dough in the air. We'd make homemade pizzas all the time. How come every time I try to throw the dough in the air, you, like, dive at it like it's, like you're, <laughs> like you're diving to take a bullet? Because you have no rhythm or coordination, and it's going to the floor. We've all seen you throw things. Aside from that time you threw that blob of noodles at my face, you don't have good aim. That was the hero day. All right, so this is pretty darn clear. I think we are good. I will say this whisk doesn't reach into the corners, but I don't know that a regular whisk does either. I think I would need a uh, rubber spatula for that. But that's clear, so 
I'm gonna leave this, I'm actually, I think I'm gonna throw this in a glass bowl to get it out of the hot pan, so maybe it'll cool a little faster. Okay. Can you entertain What? Why a glass, because the glass bowl will get rid of the heat quicker than the metal bowl, and the metal bowl keeps it in? Oh, I don't know. Because you have metal bowls there. We do, but... Glass is funner because you can see inside of it. No, funner's not a word, Dan. Much like a whisk is not a whisk. I'm going back to the control room. <laughs> yeah? Yep. You done with me? Oh, you don't need me. You're on fire tonight. <laughs> Crystal the animal lover of the super chat. Glad you guys are feeling better. Make homemade pizza. I think that we should. I think I will add that to my spreadsheet that I'm I think that's on. a good idea, because maybe like I could try to make one as well. Yeah, we can do it like the lasagna where we each make one. What are you souping on? Oh, uh, nothing, because your phone was going off, but it was uh, spammers calling. Spam. All right, so I'm just going to sort of carefully pour this in here. So, because of the corn syrup, I think it does have a little bit of a yellowy color to it. That's normal. We don't sweat it. It is good. There's something in it. I think my bag of sugar was like, it had stuff in it. I noticed every time I make anything with that sugar, there's little bits of stuff in it. Yeah, it had to go from like where they make sugar canes to here. And there's usually not stuff in the sugar. I think I got it. I don't see anything in your sugar. It was a little black dot. That's the flavor. Yeah, there it is. It's in there still. Maybe when it cools down, I can get it out. I don't want to eat weird stuff. What's it taste like? Can I, like, drink it? It's hot right now. I would advise against it. You should wait until it cools down. Remember that thing where I cook things and then they're hot and then you shouldn't put your fingers in it? I know. I already burnt myself in your stupid iron. <laughs> it should say you know, something. It should tell me when it's cool. There's a light on it that lights up when it's... On. Also, did you or did you not plug it in your darn self? No, like after it was unplugged, I took it away with my hands. Yeah, well, it doesn't like not be hot immediately. And then it went tss, like Uncle Buck. Where'd you put my paper towels? Check it out. Really Look, guys, I'm baking. <laughs> no, get out of there. It doesn't smell like anything at all. No, it's literally just sugar and water and. Oh, uh, I need syrup. a straw. All right, this black dot is really bothering me. If you guys know me, you know that I cannot deal with things like that. I don't know what this is. Get out of there. Oh, it's like a bad game of go fish. Oh, there we go. Mouse good with the super chat. Oh, the second I posted about my order, the pizza just arrived. Awesome. Hashtag dinner time. Hashtag uh, lots of words. I'll lick them chops. Lick them, lick them, lick them, my chop. <laughs> lick them, my chops. Yes. Nice. Uh-huh. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside so it's out of the way so Dan is not tempted to put his fingers in it. <sighs> just a little bit. I just want to know what it tastes like. Can't look at I have like an environmentally friendly straw that's rubber. And I just want to like, just a little sip <laughs> No. Just a little sip. No, absolutely not. Just like, uh, how about a spoonful? It's hot. <sighs> Jordan says it's time to either give Dan a cat or give him SpaghettiOs and get him out of the way. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, I am hungry. Terry says it tastes like sweet, Dan. I, I will let you taste it. When it cools down before we mix it, you can taste the simple syrup. I'm also going to set this aside. That's my cup of lemon juice that I will mix everything with. Let me know when there's some downtime. I have questions. Not now. <laughs> you have questions? Okay, so how many of you are making lemonade along with us? Is anybody actually making the lemonade? If not, you should. If not now, later. I promise. It's worth it. It's good. <laughs> Chris says it. Dan, it tastes like burning. I know, but how will I know? And how do you know? Because it's hot! Little Ralphie Wiggum. <laughs> That's one of my favorite quotes Amanda from him. says, I am waiting for it to turn clear. Please wait. Oh, no worries. Are you also making lemon blueberry muffins with us? I need to wipe this counter down better because it's really sticky. Okay, you do that. When we need to fill some time, I have some stories for you. Do you have some stories? Well, we're waiting for Amanda's to turn clear, so... So check this Amanda out. Amanda is doing the lemonade and the muffins. Our house is double dipping tonight. That's the way to do it. So no doubt Blake loves David Dobrik. He would do anything for him. And he had some 3D Doritos, which I have in my hand here, right? Oh my gosh. Right, so it's like, Dad, I need 3D Doritos. And I'm like, all right, anything for you, son, since he doesn't approve any, like he doesn't, like it's hard to win his approval. So I'm like, I'm going. So today I made it to uh, one of the stores I was looking for him, it wasn't there. And then I heard that they were at the Circle K, right? So I go by the Circle K and I see that the Dorito van is in like the, the parking spot. So I like park. not even Frito-Lay, it was the Dorito it, van? It, it wasn't Frito-Lay, but it was the Frito-Lay person. But on the side of their van, there were full wrapped Doritos. And it wasn't a nice. van, it was like a box van. Right. So I go inside and I'm like, yes, I'm gonna ask. 
So I go, and it's this really cool lady, and, you know, she's got her Frito-Lay polo on with the Doritos logo under the Frito-Lay. And I ask her, I'm like, who are these 3 ds Doritos? And she's like, oh, man, they only are at Circle K, which, you know, I was standing inside one. She goes, I do all the Circle K here in the Antelope Valley. There's two. There's one here and one on the other side of town. They were really hard to get, and I got some. But the these ones, this Circle K sold out so fast, I had to take the remainder ones from my other Circle K and bring them here, and I have one bag left. Whoa! <laughs> and I'm like, OMG, like, I'll do anything for you. Like, just, I need that bag. And she's like, I try to order more, but there's no more. So I got the last bag. In the entire valley? In the entire valley. Nice. Of 3D Doritos for Blake. And I won't even let him open it. <laughs> it's got to wait for a food review? It's got to wait for a food review. It's also got to wait for when I'm not here, because I don't know if you guys know this about me. I hate Doritos. I do not want to look at Doritos. I do not want to smell Doritos. I don't care what flavor they are. All Doritos are nasty to me. You cannot eat them in my car. You cannot eat them in my bed. Oh my gosh, Sam, I am. You cannot eat them when I'm working at the bank behind the plexiglass and you're eating Doritos while you're trying to do your transaction and the smell is coming through onto my side of it. What happened? Um, Doritos are... My brother, one of, well, I don't know if they still are. My brother's favorite chips as a kid were Doritos, and I absolutely loathed them. The smell of them is disgusting. They all stink so bad. They make me want to vomit. I don't know what it is. I don't want to be around you and your Doritos. I'm sorry. So, Adrian, uh, Doritos are my favorite chip. Fighty I'm sorry. Words. We're not friends anymore, Adrian. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Can't do it. Uncle Yukon said, bag of what? 3D what? <laughs> Can you uh, come over and yes. show them again? Yes, they are uh, 3D Doritos. Yes. <laughs> Chris says, Crystal does not like Doritos in her house. She does not like them with Topo Mouse. <laughs> Terry says yep. it's been that way since I've known her. She's known yep. her longer than me. I've known her since high school, and she, she knows all about it. If you guys missed it several months ago now, Jess sent me this awesome mug. <laughs> it was like two months ago. <laughs> <laughs> what is time anymore? I don't know. I slept through two weeks of my life. I, have, I don't even know where I am anymore. I hate sleeping more than anything. If I could pick one superpower, it'd be never to get tired. <laughs> and we slept but so much. I love sleeping. I would sleep as much as I could every night and never have to wake up to an alarm. I was done sleeping. I promise you, I was done. There was days we got up out of bed in the afternoon, because that's when we woke up, moved to the couch, fell back to sleep. There there was one day I don't think I was awake for more than six hours for the 24-hour period. Yeah. It, it was too much sleep. We lived off of Miss Maisel and... Yep. Uh, and, and whatever else was on HBO. Right, Die Hard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. The, even people are like, I wish I could sleep for two weeks when I tell them that I slept for two weeks. No, you do not wish you could sleep for two weeks when your body <laughs> won't let you get up and do anything. You barely have enough energy to make food. It sucked so bad. It was it really brutal. So bad. No, we're good though. We're good. Okay, let's. Yeah, let's, yeah we're, we're, good. On yeah. <laughs> we're on the up. But I'm just saying, you we're don't want to sleep for two weeks. I promise you. Um, I see a super chat here from Mouse Queen. She says, Dan, don't get me started. It's not Saturday night yet. <laughs> yeah, it's not the give Dan crap night tonight. Don't talk with your mouth full of pizza. <laughs> she <laughs> she said, pizza. I swear you're like that kid that's always getting their wrist smacked when you're trying to go touch dinner before it's done. No, 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 no. Wait. I was always right below that line. I was never like that. I'm sorry. How many times have I smacked your hand out of the way in your life? I was never the class clown. Like, I was right. I made sure to stay right under that radar of trouble. So, no way. I like Bart Simpson, but never got caught. You're nothing like Bart Simpson. <laughs> oh. Oh, what else is happening here? Dude, the chat is going by yes. so fast. There's 81 people here right now. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit the like button. Subscribe so you can get notifications when we go live. Go follow Getting Baked with Crystal on Facebook. Working on making an Instagram. I'll get there, guys. There's, there's so much I want to do for this. And there's just not enough time in the day, in the week, in the month. It just I'm working on it. PJ and Fan Vlogs with another super chat. Thank you. I saw everyone asking, so I'm super chatting again. Hi from Lake Michigan. Not Michigan, the lake, but Lake, comma, Michigan. I'll be in St. Joe, Michigan. Also, since Crystal already shouted me out, I have a new video premiering tomorrow on Ignition 91 on YouTube. How about Cheetos, Crystal? Nope. Not a fan of Cheetos. Oh, no. That was... You know what? I, I feel like my brother traumatized me as a child because that was another one my brother loved. Don't like Cheetos. Every once in a while, if there's the, the cheesy puffs, I'll give one of those a shot. Not the hard, crunchy Cheetos. What are we doing here? You're going behind the scenes, bro. Oh, I'm losing track of chat. 
<laughs> Melissa says that I should make a green eggs and ham book, but with Doritos. I probably could write a little rhyme about how much I hate Doritos. Helen with the super chat. LOL, you can tell Dan is mostly back to himself. No offense. He is hyper Dan. Is there any sign of the package I sent? No, not yet. But the one we sent to you took almost a month. Although I will say, I sent a package to you and it got there a week faster. It got to Australia a week faster than the package I sent to Steve in Canada. So do that math. It didn't even have to go over an ocean. I don't know. Things take forever to go overseas. Dude, I with told no to throw it away. Rhyme I mean, you gotta reason. throw that away. I mean, it was sealed up. Okay. <laughs> I told him. I, I hope it it's still good, but please don't hate me if they're not. It, it was sealed the whole time. I packaged everything. I should post a picture. I don't think I ever posted the picture of, of creating everything. I was up till one in the morning putting everything together. All right, Amanda is all caught up. She says, thanks for stalling. Jordan says, Crystal, you do not need another Instagram. I have so many Instagrams, it's not even funny. I have Instagrams I've made, used for a little while, and then never used again. I have so many Instagrams, I have to figure out how to delete one that I don't use anymore so that I can make a new one. Mouse Queen with the super chat. Oh, just wait till tomorrow night. Dano, hashtag, I'm gonna get ya. Dang. She has got you. It's my day off. Oh, here comes Jay. That's my brother. Mmm, Doritos and Cheetos, still my favorites. When Jason was a kid, we've talked about how much Jason loves mayonnaise. Jason also is a very picky eater, and his sandwiches consisted of white bread, mayonnaise, a slice of American cheese, and Doritos. Cold? Cold what? Like just cold, like not melted. Yeah, not like a grilled cheese. No, just like a like how you make a lunch meat sandwich, but with no lunch meat because he's not really a fan of lunch meat. That sandwich combination makes me want to vomit. Still to this day. Do you still eat that, Jason? Is that still a thing? Do you still make Doritos and Kraft American sliced cheese sandwiches with? Oh. Moving on. Let's make some lemon blueberry muffins. So the first part of this, there's three parts to this recipe. We're gonna make a crumb topping, we're gonna make the muffin itself, and we're gonna make a glaze to go on top. First, we're gonna make the crumb topping because we're going to let that sit um, while we make the muffin. The glaze we will not make until we're ready to put it on the muffins because it, it does kind of solidify after a little bit. Did you, you did get me out an extra stick of butter. I don't think I told you guys, the recipe did say softened butter. One of your sticks of butter should be softened already. I usually try to post on Facebook to remind everybody to do that. So Amanda, if you didn't do that, maybe stick it on your stove or try the trick that I posted about putting um, boiling water, hot water in a glass cup and putting it over the top of it. I set an Alexa reminder for Dan to take the butter out and it worked. Look at that. All I have to do is tell Alexa to tell Dan to do things and it works better than when I tell She's Dan a, to do things. And it's better when you tell Alexa to do things. She's a lot nicer to me. Just saying. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, Jason says he does eat lunch meat nowadays. Wait, are we talking like pepperoni or like chicken, turkey, ham kind of lunch meat? What, what are we talking about here when you say lunch meat? So for our crumb topping, we're going to use five tablespoons of butter melted. One, two, three, four, five. Is there, you know, I noticed when I pick up these blocks of Imperial for you that there's no other brand, because there's always a generic with that same style of packaging, the familiarity. Do you need a generic for the 99 cent box of four sticks of butter? No, but I, I, I'm thinking that they don't own the butter game. Like, is there no, any... No, I think this is like the knockoff generic margarine cheap But is there butter any other butter? Version. Because I only see this butter ever. Not the tubs or anything I'm saying, but like the sticks for right. baking. I don't ever see any other I butter. I think, yeah, real butter comes in sticks, but just, this is not real butter. Remember this? Okay, I didn't want to derail portrait. this. I was just, it was just a Sorry, I'm, no, I'm visualizing like the butter question. section at the store and trying to think like, I know other butter comes in sticks, but this is just what I used. Oh, Adrian with the jokes. Back when Dan worked at NASA, he liked launch meat. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Bum, bum. Yeah, enjoy your stint in comedy jail. That was a good one, actually. That was a good one. <laughs> All right, so um, when you cut the butter, I have found that using a serrated bread knife works the best because it won't smash your butter at all. So pro tip, use your serrated bud butter knife. No, bread knife, and it'll cut through the paper and the butter pretty cleanly and won't smash anything. Look, I'm here to teach you guys. It's not all clown shoes. All right. Sorry if I'm not reading your guys' chat. It's going by so fast on the screen. I am trying, but it, I can't get to everybody. So we are going to microwave this. I always cover it in case it does pop so I don't get butter blobs in my microwave. Oh my gosh, I told you I needed the microwave. I did nothing but put everything in front of it.
How long do you put it in there for you, sir? Um, I usually do like 30 seconds, depending on how much butter there is. Um, if I hear it pop, I'll always open it up and kind of stir it up. I need to get a bowl out to put this in, so let's see. All right, so in here is going to go sugar. I heard it pop. No tiny whisk? Where are we at? <laughs> I guess I could use the tiny You're whisk. You're professional. Yeah, well. No, I need that. That's fine. I'll hold it over here. Yeah, that should be melty enough. Yeah. Okay. All right, so in here is going to go the melted butter, the sugar, the flour. Oh, we need to do rolled oats. Um, the recipe calls for them just whole rolled oats. If you've watched the show before, you know that I do not care for whole rolled oats unless I'm eating oatmeal and then I just eat it like cereal. I like to throw mine in the food processor. That way you get that oatmeal flavor, but you don't get oats. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So this is going to be a half a cup of rolled oats. Uh, Chris said the app for this stream is a Nutrisystem diet plan. What? All right. No. I, is it Oprah? I love bread. <laughs> she always loves bread. She loves bread. I will never forget that ad no. campaign. I love bread. What do you know about Oprah? Like, she did a lot of cool things. Everybody gets a and, car. Yeah. And, and I, I she like, loves bread. I like bread. Everybody, no, she loves bread. I love bread. More than, do you think she loves bread more than the kid loves turtles? <laughs> yeah, he just likes turtles. Oh. Jim Johnson says all the cool kids on YouTube are using the Kerry Gold butter, these premium shiznit. Um, I think is that the I want to say Irish butter. Is that the one? I'm not sure. I've seen it, but I've never used it. Um, like I've said before, I've tried to use real butter, and it. I'm sure it's better. I'm sure it tastes better. I'm sure it does things better. It does not cook exactly the same, and I was not able to figure out how to adjust my recipes. I went right back to the Imperial. Don't judge me. That's what I use. I bake a lot, and butter is expensive. Um, food processor is loud real quick. Uh, super chat from Mouse Queen. Honestly glad I caught this baking vlog so early. Hashtag blessed. Yes, you're not usually here for the whole baking vlog. I am glad to see you and your pizza. Are you going to turn the volume down while I do this? Because I'm going to turn down noise. some this time because the microphone's further away. Okay, good deal. You'll thumbs up. So, you'll thumbs up when it's full volume. Yes. All right, so I don't grind it into a full powder. I just like to mash some of it up. Do it to your liking if you want it a full powder. If you want it whole, do what you gotta Let's do. See what it looks like inside. So it's just kind of ground up. This one, when I make my oatmeal cookies, I like it to be a finer powder. This one, because this is gonna go on the top, I do like to have a little bit more chunks in it. Super quack, super chat from Mouse Queen. Whoa, whoa, super quack? Super quack. I was trying to say. Queen and chat at the same time, and can it cannot quack. Super quack so I, apparently, that makes me quack. And can you read them in Donald Duck voice? <laughs> I don't have a Donald Duck voice. <laughs> so, Mouse Queen says, "Not gonna lie, guys. Dan, for all the beef I give, you know that the love. I, for all the beef I give you, know that the love is real." Do you like me more than Regis? That's the thing. <laughs> Do you have, like? Have you done Dan fan art? That's right. what I want to know. <laughs> right. I thought I was supposed to be drawn as a rat. What happened? <laughs> Mr. Feeney, but not me. Hannah Brew with the super chat. All right, I'm back with alcohol in hand, ready to get the Friday night going. Awesome. Right. I am ready for that lemonade to be done because I only have like a half of a mug of wine left. It's a it's a, it's a drinking game, Hannah. Uh, take a shot every time Crystal adds in an ingredient. <laughs> There's a lot of ingredients in this one. If you saw the recipe, you know this. Um, Jim says that that Kerrygold butter is a lower moisture, higher fat butter. We'll see that I'm being help more healthy with my margarine plastic butter. All right, so here's our bowl. We're mixing everything in. We got a half a cup of sugar. We're going to do a half, a, no, I'm sorry, half a cup of oats in here that I ground up just a little bit. We're going to do a half a cup of sugar. This is clean. Always lots of sugar. Always. I like sugar. Things taste better with sugar. Ew, did you put this away dirty? 
I don't roll. How my cooking show and everything? <laughs> All right. Stephanie says, hey fam, hope you both are feeling better. Happy birthday. Oh yeah, it was her birthday. Happy birthday. Yes. Did you have a pool party? Oh, maybe. <laughs> We are a long way from pool parties. Although I did notice it was quite warm today. I went outside and had to take my sweatshirt off. So, so much for winter? Yeah, we or don't else really have winter out here. Grabbing those hot flashes. Hand out the super chat. <laughs> Oof, I still have to work tomorrow, Dan. Aww. That's future you's problem. Right yeah. now, you is ready to party. Tonight, you're having fun and drinking. All right, so half a cup of rolled oats. I like to mix the dry ingredients. I've said it before. Mix the dry ingredients before you add the butter to it. So you'll notice that butter is there kind of just cooling down back to room temperature after I melted it. Half a cup of sugar, half a cup of the rolled oats, and a half a cup of flour. And I gotta go grab my salt because I was not prepared with all my ingredients today. We're going to do a quarter teaspoon of salt, just a little bit. Don't hold me to it, but I think salt helps do something like balance out the sweetness or something. Salt in the hand, not in the pan. It's, <laughs> what? You love that every time I say it. Yeah, what's that about? You ask me every time, like you never remember. If oh. I say it enough, maybe one day you will remember. Let's hear it again. You don't pour your salt over your mixed stuff that you're making because salt sometimes comes out really fast. And if you dump all your salt in there, now your recipe's ruined and you have to start all over again. So always pour your salt away from whatever you're mixing and then add it to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, let me make sure I got everything. So it's the butter, sugar, flour, rolled oats, salt. Good deal. So I'm just gonna whisk that together so it's evenly mixed dry ingredients. It's a little tricky because the rolled oats are a little bit heavy, so they kind of want to stay to the bottom, but just do your best. Once we add the butter, it'll all kind of come together. Mouse Queen with the Super Chat says, I have done a fan art, sort of. It's a figurine I made on Hero Forge Online and still working on Gecko. Dan and LOL Dan, Reed is still better, but you're still live. See what I did there? Oh, <laughs> wow, that's dark for you. Wow, that is dark. She didn't say alive, she said live. Oh, that's that's dark, Mouse Queen. Thank All you right, so much for the super chat. Don't tear my fingers. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so now our butter is pretty cooled down. You don't want it to be scalding hot out of the microwave because it'll, I don't know what it'll do. You don't want it to be hot. And when I use melted butter, I always just like to grab my rubber spatula and just kind of get the last bits because it does kind of coat the bowl. So I just get the bits out of there. And then you want to mix this with a fork because you want it to be kind of crumbly. We're going to crumble it onto the top. So we're not trying to make it like a smooth mixture. We're trying to make a crumbly mixture. Probably could have used a smaller bowl, but here we are. What? No. You took a breath like you were going to say nope, something. I will just trying to live? I'm just trying to live. <laughs> All right. You just want to kind of mix it till all of the dry ingredients are mixed into there. It does kind of make a stickyish mixture. It looks oatmeal-y. Um, Yes. Um, I think part of the reason why you make this first and then wait until the end, obviously, to put it on there is because it does kind of dry out a little bit. So don't worry, Amanda and anybody else. Is anybody else making this or is it just me and Amanda? Um, don't worry if it is kind of like, see how it wants to be like a dough. Don't worry about it. It will dry out a little bit. It'll be more crumbly once it's time to put it onto the muffins. A couple more super chats. We got Mouse Queen. Salt adds a bit of umami, savory taste to a sweet dish or baking project. So I get you. Yeah, I started to try to explain it and then realized, like, I don't know how to explain that properly. But it, it does something to balance the flavors. There's some sort of chemistry to that. Uh, one more super chat from Hannah Brew. Also glad I can come back and you all remember how to pronounce my name. That never happens. Again, as somebody with a hard to pronounce German last name, I feel you, girl. Oh, I got my you. gosh. All right, hold on. Educate me here because... <laughs> It says, it says brush. <laughs> it's brew. Brew. But what about the C and the H? German, you don't know. But look at all those extra consonants. It's German, you don't know. That's kind of fun. You don't get it with your Mosley. I think my Who's ever mispron- I get that they misspell it. Who's ever mispronounced your last name? Oh, they say Mosley. Or Mosley. Mosley is what it is. It's Mosley? Nobody, I've never also, heard anybody uh, say Mosley. Also, my name is Dan, and now I think you inspired me, Hannah. Thank you so much. Um, It's going to be D-A-N-N-N uh, from now on. <laughs> you have a couple extra silent letters at just the bottom? Nah, just <laughs> the end. Thank you. 
In junior high, it was my birthday. We were on year-round school, so it was the first time that my birthday, because it's in August, was actually during the school year. And I was excited. I got to, like, hang out with my friends and stuff. And in the be beginning of the day, over the, like, PA, whatever, through all the classrooms, they would announce all the birthdays for the day. The birthday for the day was Crystal Strobe. And I got called strobe light for the rest of junior high. No joke. I'm also, in case you hadn't noticed, really, really white. So yeah, there were those jokes about how I was blinding everybody and it was good fun. What joke did you come out here to crack? I have two, so. <laughs> I have two. He was, Blake was in there saving up jokes so he could come out here. Please, come, okay, well, come, let's see what you I was doing something have. that I couldn't stop. So I heard some earlier. One, first, when Joe graduated, they said Schialo or instead of Seattle. Yep, there you go. That's an Italian last name that people couldn't pronounce. If you know the root languages of words, you know how to pronounce them. Like, when you told me Joe's last name, what did I say? Oh, is he Italian? Yeah. Like, I can tell because of how it's spelled and it sounds. I, what else you got? Your head's so, kind of cut off. <laughs> so, no, backwards is going to yeah, help. <laughs> yeah, so so Dad was saying that I'm, I'm hard to please. But I'm not hard to please. I'm just easy to disappoint. <laughs> That's very true. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love that. I'm not hard to please. I'm just easy Get to disappoint. Get out of here, you gif. <laughs> you no. gif me. I love you, Blake. You're my favorite kid. Oh my I was God. like, oh, I want to come out there and say this joke, but I'm like doing something I can't oh. stop. So that, that was worth it. <laughs> not hard to please. Just easy to disappoint. Mm. All right. So set aside your crumb topping. We're done with that for now. Uh, now we are going to need the mixer. Hooray. Everybody says hi, Blake. Hello. He says hello. <laughs> he uh, there's that. super chat from Jordan says you need to grow your beard back. Adrian says, are we sure Blake isn't Crystal's son? Blake is a really good argument for nature versus nurture, but what's funny is like, tell me, Dan, when Blake was little, did I not always play music? I would always drive, Blake went to school a half hour away from where we live. Mm -hmm. um, I would always be the one to drive to go pick him up and take him to school. You would come in the mornings, but in the afternoons I would go uh, pick him up and take him back. I always put on music for this child. Always. All kinds of music from, you know, the, the ska, the Less Than Jake that I love to like Crosby, Stills, and Nash. You know, I tried to, the Beatles, everything to like expose this kid to music because I love music and I don't know where my life would be without it. You know, this child could not care any less about music at all. And that's what you think makes him not your kid? Not the fact that he no, doesn't look no. like Alfred E. Newman? We're talking, <laughs> I hate you. We're talking nature versus nurture. The, oh. the nurture, like obviously he's not my child. I did not birth him. But I've been around since he was three. This kid has so many of my personality traits. He's a mini crystal in so many ways. Yeah. Does not like music. I have read to this child. I taught this child how to read when he was little. I have read to him. There's so many instances in the vlogs and on social media of Dan would always post pictures of us reading stuff. I read to this child like crazy. I tried to get it in as much as I could until he was 18 and like I couldn't make him do things anymore. I could still kind of make him do things. Does not care to read a book on his own at all. Not even a little bit. So nature versus nurture, go figure. That's because Uh oh, you, what's your reasoning? That's because you made me read so much that I hate it. No, false. That's you, why he yes. needs glasses because he broke his eyes with reading. <laughs> yeah, false. And, and my head doesn't like read or my eyes don't like reading or my eyes just don't like seeing, but <laughs> my eyes just don't like seeing. They don't. But I think it's you smothered uh, my, me. My bow is not bowing and it feels like it's falling off. Ugh. Oh, we got, we got some name pronunciations. So, oh my God, no, I'm not that little. <laughs> Chuck it in. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Uh, Helen says, my maiden name was S-T-A-V-R-O-U and the U is silent. I would have pronounced it, when I read it in my head, like on Facebook and stuff, I say Stavro. That's, that's how I would have pronounced that. So I, I think I'm saying that right, Stavro. Now you made it looser, that's not helping. Uh, Mouse Queen says, I get Ben Air, Ben O, Benot from my last name, B E N O I T. I would have pronounced that the French way with the O I T. I would have said like Benoit, like Benoit balls. She says it's <laughs> Benoit. <laughs> what are you? You did not help. Stop helping. Dan doesn't know how to tie a bow, in case you're wondering. Crystal the Animal Lover says, stop moving the chat. You're the best crystal loving Blake like your own. He's really easy. Let me tell you, like, I am not a fan of kids. Most kids are kind of loud and obnoxious and I can take them or leave them. Kids are fine over there, away from me. Have your kids, I love your kids, but now I'm ready to go home because your kids are loud. I can't deal with it. Blake was never loud, he was never bad. We had like 
couple instances there, he loves to talk about the time I hit him in the mouth when he was standing at the mirror washing his hands and all of a sudden he just spit all over the mirror. Again, traumatized by my little brother, I hate spitting. It's so disgusting, it's so unclean, it's nasty. It grosses me out and it makes me mad. He spit all over the mirror, like a mouthful of spit, and I was standing behind him and I popped him on the mouth just like that. Not painful, he didn't bleed, he didn't cry, but you can bet his eyes got this big. He was four. He's still to this day at 19 years old. Just the other day was talking about the time I hit him in his mouth. Other than that, real good kid. Couple little things here and there. One time he came home from kindergarten and his pants had a cut in them and he swore he didn't do it. He did it. Who else would have done it? I made him write standards because I'm I so think mean. you did it. You set me up. I did not do it. Blake's in there trying to say I did it. Okay, are we baking something? What are we doing? I think we're still good on time. It's seven o'clock. I think these will take about an hour to make. Oh, if you haven't already, Amanda, and anybody else making this, preheat your oven to 350. Always check your oven to make sure there's nothing in it. Even if you know you didn't put anything in it, even if you don't store things in there, you might have a Dan who put stuff in your oven and you weren't looking. We have had that happen before. Are you flipping me off from the other room? Yes, I remember to turn on the oven. <laughs> Jordan says, but Blake is going to ignore you trapping him in the bathroom because he hit you with a Nerf bullet. Yeah, he wasn't as traumatized by that for some reason. Go figure. Who knows? All right, let's see where we are. Okay, we made our crumbly stuff. Oh, we're going to combine our dry ingredients for this. What are our dry ingredients for this? Two cups of flour. I don't know if this bowl is going to be big enough for this, but let's try it and see how it goes. Is Nancy in the chat today? Is Nancy in the chat Amanda says it is set now. It is what, what? Set now. Oh, the oven, yes. Oh, my eyes are watering. Uh, Husky Tales 101, Blake Logic, LOL. We uh, we got your package with the with the candies. Oh yes, the the Mexican candies. Yes. We will have to try those. So we will definitely make a video of us trying those. I think uh, I can soon. taste and smell things so, again. So I think we can start. Thank you so much. Things. Thank you. All right. I uh, didn't get all baking powder. I'm sorry. My eyes are watering. Can you entertain so I can like get the water out of my eyes? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hello, Catherine. A wild Dan. Yes, that is me. It is a wild, a wild Dan. Um. So we got all your guys's Christmas cards and Christmas stuff. We went and cleared out the PO box, and today everything shipped out. So if you've ever, ever, ever sent anything to the PO box up until like maybe a week ago. Um, you should be getting something back within the next few days, however long it takes to get there. So I went and I dropped off this big sack of stuff today and it's all good to go. So you guys will be receiving your Christmas cards uh, soon. We were sick, so we didn't want to send anything out until we knew that we were all good to go. And those all went out today. Yes. So, uh, yeah, enjoy. Enjoy the most of you that got pieces of my Christmas tree in your card. <laughs> Not everybody because the tree was gone by the time most of the cards came because we got rid of that. Christmas Eve, oh, no, yeah, Chris we we Christmas that Day, that yeah, was good. That, yeah, yeah, that was good. That was embarrassing, but good. <sighs> did somebody go shake up my baking powder? What happened here? Oh, I did, oops. Yeah, I can tell, it's all around the edge I, of it. My <laughs> Swedish chef, why you were gone? Oh, well, thanks, I appreciate you making a mess of my stuff. <laughs> all right, this is why you're not allowed in the baking cupboard or to touch the baking stuff. It was, that. the only two, the only two, the only two people I could do impressions of in the cooking world is a Swedish chef. And uh, Gordon Ramsay, you donut. I love what he calls people donuts. He just donuts That's, people. that's my new favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Husky Tail says, yes, I need to order a pack of that stuff too so we can try it with you guys. Get on it. It's actually nice. It's a nice little package of stuff. Yeah, there's a good mix in there. We live in Southern California, so we see a lot of Mexican candy. There's a lot of stuff in there I've never seen before. All right, and half a teaspoon of salt. Salt in the hand, not in the pan. That's my new favorite saying, by the way. I just learned it like a couple months ago, and I love it. Who, who'd you get that from? I read it on the internet. I don't know where it came from. I think it was on a Reddit thread about cooking or baking or something. Mm -hmm. Right, right. 
All right, I'm sorry, I lost my place in the recipe. Flour, baking powder, salt. All right, we're just gonna whisk this together so that it is mixed evenly. Again, we mix the dry ingredients first because if you add it into a wet mix, you want everything to be mixed evenly. Otherwise, if you dump in like your baking powder, it could just blob together in there and not mix through everything evenly. So you just wanna kinda whisk it together so your baking powder and your salt get mixed evenly into your flour. It's easier to mix the dry ingredients than to try to mix it evenly in once it's already in the wet ingredients. So that's gonna be set aside. Next step, we're gonna take our blueberries out because we're gonna do a little something with those real quick. Ooh, that sounds fun. I got those at the store. Thanks, Dan. Hey, you should be proud that I did not pick blackberries <laughs> that are in the exact same packaging. Oh, well, good and job. And I picked blueberries. All right, if you're using fresh blueberries, I think you still do this step because the recipe says fresh or frozen blueberries. And what it says here is to put the blueberries in a bowl in the freezer. What do you think Amanda got? I hope she got frozen because I feel like it's better. Uh, like I said, I like to have the, the frozen ones because I can just put it in there. Like this is left over from the last time that I made it. And then I just put them in there and I had more. I don't think it's enough. So I had to send Dan to the store to go get more blueberries because I don't think it's quite enough to make two batches. We'll see actually. I probably could have measured it before I sent him to the store, but. Hillary says, hi Blake, you should refresh your browser, Hillary. You're like 10 minutes behind. <laughs> he would say hi if he was still Yeah, it's us. just a little bit short. It's like one and two thirds cups. Um, I use these sometimes in my smoothies. I don't love blueberry in my fruit smoothies in the morning, but I have used them before. Um, but I like to be able to just always have blueberries at the ready when I feel like making this. If I didn't have another bag, I would just make it with slightly less blueberries in the muffins. Uh, Chris bought the good stuff, so he did not get frozen blueberries. Nice. Oh, did I not specify on the recipe that you could use frozen or fresh? I apologize. What about Look, Smurf berries? Can we so... make some Smurf berries? That's stuff? not a thing, man. Is that the forbidden fruit? Uh, no, that's schnozberries. Oh, right, okay. Okay, so even with your um, fresh blueberries, throw them in the freezer for a little bit. It helps them firm up. We are also going to, um, you could just throw these into your recipe as is, but most likely they're gonna sink to the bottom. The trick that I have learned for making anything with blueberries is to coat them in flour. That helps them to kind of stick where they are in the dough so they're less likely to sink to the bottom. Sometimes they still do. The last batch that I made, they kind of sank to the bottom, but right now we're just gonna take the blueberries, stick them in a bowl just like this. It's not gonna be too long. We're gonna stick them in the freezer. So while we're doing that, we got some super chats from Mouse Queen. Thank you very much. I actually don't mind the Benoit pronunciation. I am Irish French anyway. Shrugs, LOL. That explains your sassiness. Jordan with the super chat. My name has been pronounced. Oh no, because I'm going to mess this up. <laughs> Maccabi. Mm -hmm. Maccabi. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that other one's supposed to be, McCabby. <laughs> At one point, McCaff, but I think my teacher just wanted another coffee. <laughs> she wanted McCafe. Right, McCafe. <laughs> you get five, you get one free. Right. Yeah, names are kind of ridiculous, and I feel like, again, people just don't know the language of origin by looking at the combination of letters, and they just kind of guess at what it is. So that's in the freezer. We're going to put our butter in here, and we're going to beat it for a minute until soft and fluffy. Right. Can you sing a song while you do it? Can I what? Let's sing a song. Oh, I don't sing songs. When ingredients come along, you must beat it. <laughs> We're going to use our paddle for this one, so okay. just okay. turn it on for about a minute. This says, in the summer, I like to eat fresh blueberries dipped in Cool Whip. Well, doesn't that sound quaint? <laughs> that sounds It refreshing. does. I don't care if people mess up my name. I get Dawn a lot. <laughs> Hello, uh, this is Dan speaking. Dave, no, Dan, Dawn, Dad, Dan, Dan, yes, Dan, Dan, it's Dan. Again, people just don't it's even try. It's not Dave, Dawn, or Dad, but I don't mind. I don't care either way. My favorite's at work when I answer the phone and I say, Animal Valley Engineering, this is Crystal. And they say, is this Crystal? You have that nice I voice. I just said that. That's, yes. that's my I'm getting paid voice. And I get that too. Is this Dan? Well, yeah. All right, Amanda says, hold on, please. I'm a step or two behind. No worries. I'm going to let this go for a little bit until it's fluffy. You keep going with what you're doing and let me know where you are. Um, I'm not sure where you are, so if you need help, because, I, again, I don't post the recipe, just the ingredients. Let me know if you need some help with what uh, I have gone ahead of you on. Go over there and get your story. Blake says he's got 
stories of mispronouncing. Oh, what's Blake's story? Well, my last name, nobody ever says my last name right. Nobody. No, ever. who says it wrong and how do they What's say your last Mosley. name? Mosley. Mosley. Maybe you should change your last name to something cooler. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had a cooler last name, but somebody over you here gave strawberry? me. No, that's not cool. No, it's not. Strawberry. <laughs> oh, I got called strawberry so much. Red hair right. and the last name Strawby, you get called strawberry. Yeah. How many punches? were distributed for calling you stuff. Oh, no. See, my thing back then was not punching. My patented move was a shin kick. Why? Because I'm good at it. Why, did Daria do it? No, like, that was just what I did. Mm -hmm. Okay, in high school, Terry might remember this story. She remembers Mark. I had some, like, purple velvet pants that I loved so much. They had them in Hot Topic, and I wanted them so bad. And I got my first job at Toys R Us. I got my first paycheck and I marched my butt into Hot Topic, which my mom called the devil store and would never take me in. But now I had my own money. And I was buying my, <laughs> I was buying my purple my velvet tickets. pants. And I went and bought my purple velvet pants and I loved those things. I wore the heck out of those all through high school. Oh, yep, wow. see, Terry remembers the shin kick. So our high school was different quads. It was like, you know, a box of classrooms with like planter boxes or something in the middle. And that's where everybody hang out. It was like the one under quad, the two under quad. So I was like on one side of the quad, and Mark was on the other side of the quad. Mark threw a seven up across the quad, and guess who it exploded on? This girl in her purple velvet pants, who marched her butt what right over say? Oh and my said, gosh, Becky. who threw that soda? And everybody pointed at Mark, and I walked right up to him and huddled up and kicked him right in the what shin. What were you wearing? So you're a my bully? purple velvet pants. No, for shoes. It didn't matter what I was wearing. I perfected it in all my pairs of shoes. So you were a bully. No, I retaliated. That sounded like a bully to me. No. Yes. No, I didn't You walked it. over he, there. He you, bullied me by throwing You could have been a bigger person and just I, ignored have you it. Would you have reported it? No. No, I am not I a mean, bigger person. Have you seen your height? <laughs> um... Mouse Queen with the Super Chat says, When I say insurance, this is Lindsay. Some people hear Wendy or even Lizzie. <laughs> right? I had a guy call the other day and tell me, my name's Ryan, whatever his weird last name was that I Seacrest. couldn't understand. And then he goes, that's R-Y-A-N. Didn't feel the need to spell his last name that I clearly could not understand, even though- But he spelled his very basic But he, he spelled his, abs I'm sure he gets called Brian all the time, but still, like, I heard you, bro. Oh, What's I, the last name? I would get called, I get called the walk cake, literally all the time. That's, that's been the meme. Right. But. All right, I think this is pretty fluffy. Amanda, let me know when you are ready and we will go on a little bit. Or in a little bit? I don't know where I was going with that. Terry says, no one's the bigger person in high school. <laughs> it's true. Husky Tail says, my mom hated taking me to Hot Topic 2, LMAO. Yep. <laughs> oh, my mom literally called it the devil store. She would not step foot. I was Sometimes smart. I could get away with like, oh, you're going to be in the store for a minute? And then she'd come, and I'd see her outside, just staring. One time I had money, and I wanted this Nirvana shirt so bad, and I could see my mom out there glaring. I'm like, I'm just going to buy it real quick. And I grabbed it. You know, they had the, the, the shirts were hanging on the wall, and they had, like, the plexiglass, like, cubby holes. And I grabbed my shirt, and I went up, and I bought it. And it was, like, an extra large, and I still have it to this day, and I think I've worn it twice in my whole life because <laughs> I am not an extra large. Do you want a Nirvana shirt? No. My parents <laughs> didn't know that store existed. Right? <laughs> they I had no idea. I just didn't tell them it existed. I yeah. I don't like that store. It's weird. No, now it's basic and has like Backstreet Boys and My Little Pony. It well, I don't know if Backstreet Pony. Boys are cool anymore, but what? It you does leave, have a lot of My Little Pony. It does. You leave both of them alone. Dad. It used to be like, I mean, look, not that my mom was completely justified in calling it the devil store, but it was definitely a lot more alternative than it is these days, for sure. There's a lot. Of, it has a lot of like superhero stuff now. Yes. And office. There's a lot of office merch in there. I didn't yeah. think so many, like, like, I didn't know there were so many things. Yeah. Terry says, oh, Blake, it was so different back then. It was. They played loud, scary music. That's probably why my mom called it the Devil Store. It was always, like, screamo, scary, hardcore, punk rock, screamo, I don't know what. Now, like, I've literally heard pop music in there. It's, it's all I play so now. different. It's a parody of what's, itself. What's, it is. It really is. What's Spencer's? Spencer's Gifts? The one... You've been in there with me before. Yeah. Where, where in the back they sell, like, the bachelorette party stuff. With like wieners. In the front, they have bombs you can't use. <laughs> and like <laughs> lava lamps like, no, and t-shirts. Yeah, right? and... We have one in the mall. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's down at the end, like Are across from Old Navy. Is it similar and it's to long and narrow? Is it similar to like the kind, other place we're talking about? Yeah, kind of like Hot Topic, but a little more, a little more pop culturey. I think, if that makes sense. Is that, so they, is that the place that had the pop figs in it? Yes. 
Yeah, with like the wall pop figs and stuff. Yeah, I think I think we're we're looking for we're looking there for dad's uh, dad's what's it called? What was her name? Uh, Terry? No, no, no. no. Oh, we're the Alexa looking, Bliss. Yeah, we were looking. We were looking. I thought you were like, pointing at the picture of Terry. <laughs> no. What? Jordan says, Blake, I'm only 25, and Hot Topic when I was growing up is what Dan and Chris will remember. It's not the same. Yeah, it, it's been very recently that that, that change has happened. Um, Mouse Queen, one more super chat. Jeez, girl, you don't have to super chat everything. We'll read your chats. <laughs> I do miss a lot of them, though. You guys talk a lot. There's a lot going on. I appreciate it, though. Uh, her super chat says, LOL, between Hot Topic and Spencer's, Spencer's was worse, but yeah, I always thought both stores looked so rebellious. Um, I feel like just like Hot Topic, Spencer's just kind of toned it down and gotten a little more like Pokemon Adventure Time, Minecrafty these days. Is Adventure Time still a thing? I think so. Oh, okay. I don't know. I haven't seen Amanda. Oh, wait. She, I see she's at the top. What did she say? Oh, Caxi. I'll take it. <laughs> Terry said, I used to get my dog collars from there. Yes, you could get the dog collar necklaces and what? my manic necklace. panic. Yeah, a necklace that was like the leather, like with like a dog collar that people would wear when we oh wanted to be gosh. rebellious. Um, manic panic, that was the only place you could get like any sort of colored hair dye back in the day. Like, I don't even think you could go to Sally's and get it. It can was I, not a thing. Can I drink this? I would advise against it. What is it? I already, hey, it. I already tried to drink it. Crystal said no, dude. It's, is it still hot? See, now no, you know, no, now you know he's my kid. What he wants it? to drink it as well. It's simple syrup, which is water, sugar, and corn syrup. Oh, I thought it was just, I thought I was like moving around to see if it looked, was like the syrup, like, or like not the syrup. The, the lemon the, juice? No, the, the oil. Oil? Vegetable oil? It looks, like, it looks the same it color. It does look like a big bowl of vegetable oil. No, we mix that with the, with water and the lemon juice, and that makes lemonade, which we will oh. be doing if we ever finish making muffins. I feel like I'm just kind of hanging out. So let's make muffins. Now Amanda's ready, let's move on. So our butter has been mixed. What are we doing? Oh, I put the sugar away because I thought I was done with it, but I need sugar still. And I don't know if I have a clean measuring cup, so let me grab one of those. All right, we are going to add to this one cup of sugar. Hey, can you get me out a couple of eggs, please? Either of you? Get the ones from the bottom so we can use those up so I can get rid of them. I need to get rid of that because I'm going to drop them on the ground. I made an omelet the other day and I used the eggs from the bottom. Good job. Yeah. Eggs have been on sale at our store lately. Buy two 18 packs, get a third one free. And we usually use a lot of them up, but last right time here. we... No, thank you. Um, we haven't been going through eggs as quickly, so I have lots and no. lots and lots of eggs. Uh, no, just two eggs. Thank you. And no, they are not at room temperature. Sorry. Okay, I can, so I can start getting eggs out for you. Like I need yeah, I just don't think of it. <laughs> Uncle Yukon says, "Terry, congrats, Miss Maud. It's just easier to see her that way, since she's like." Our friend, friend? Oh, yes. Because <laughs> yes. we know her in real life. Right. I don't know if she knows how to mod. <laughs> but, uh, I just need to see you better. <laughs> better to see you with... Oh, no. PJ's showing his age with the super chat. All this rebellious talk is making me nostalgic for Avril Lavigne's debut album. Yep. <laughs> oh, no. I was a little too old for Avril Lavigne and a little too into, like, ska and punk oh, to be down for that. She's so cute. And yeah, Cana see, I'm and never Canadian. Really, I don't like girl singers. I'm sorry, not sorry. That's where you're going wrong. I don't like the sound of girls' voices unless it's like a Janis Joplin. If it's got that like raspy stuff to it, then I'm down for it. Can't do like just girls singing. It's oh, it's not my thing. Uh, Crystal, do you have a mixer attachment with a whisk on the end? That does not say whisk. On the what side. does that say? On the side. That what does that say? <laughs> it says wiper. Um, you know I do. I didn't pull it out. I just reached and grabbed the other one. I probably usually this is my go-to, but I just I'm talking, I'm doing stuff. I grabbed the other one. But yes, I do have the one with the little rubbery bit on the side. All right. So while that is mixing, it says beat this part for three minutes. So Amanda, three minutes on this one. We're going to crack our eggs, and that's going to be our next step. <laughs> Husky Tail says, Crystal, how do you handle Dan and his girl T-Swift? Oh, he doesn't listen to it around me. 
You know what happens? Dan will go take a shower and I'll go in the bedroom and I can hear like the T-Swift or the Katy Perry or whatever girly stuff he's listening to coming out of there. That's when Dan listens to his stuff, or just when I'm not around. That's, he just doesn't listen to stuff that I don't like when I'm not around, or when I'm around. Right, I just wait for the, gra the grouch to go inside her trash can for the night, <laughs> and, then, and then I just play it myself. It hasn't, so, it hasn't I, been music lately anyway. I cracked both my eggs into one bowl, but hey Amanda, if you haven't done that already, it does say to add them one at a time and mix them in. You can kind of do that if they're cracked in the same bowl, but if you haven't already cracked them, maybe separate them, crack one, and then do the other one. I don't know. Shouldn't really make too much of a difference. Helen with the super chat. Dan and Crystal, you have a great relationship with Blake. I have the same with my adult son and daughter. You know what? My brother has a two-year-old, and I always tell him, man, wait till your kid's an adult. That's the best part. Raising a kid is great. It's fun. I love showing him things like not a diaper changer. I don't like kids when you, they can't communicate. If, if they're like the temper tantrums, the crying and stuff, because they don't have the words for what they want to say. But once you get to the point where you get to teach your kid things, it's awesome. You're like, look at this cool thing you've never seen before, and everything's new and great. Um, when they get to be an adult and they like send you memes and stuff, it's the best. Dude, my kid's got jokes. We have a group chat with um, me, my brother, and his wife, and he, my brother would send things, and I'd be like, dude, you have to send that to Blake. We ended up just adding Blake to the group chat, because Blake's got jokes too. I'm not even in that group chat. You're not in the Because you don't uh, got jokes. No, Amanda, don't separate the eggs as far as separating the yolk from the white. You, it just says to add the eggs one at a time when we're going to add the eggs. I cracked them both into the bowl at once. So when I pour it, I'll try to get like one yolk and some white, and then I'll pour the other one after it mixes a little bit. Um, but if you haven't cracked them already, then just crack one. Otherwise, just pour carefully and try to get one, and we'll mix, and then we'll add the other one and mix some more. I just was talking too much. Shouldn't really affect it too much. Husky Tail says, I used to want to be a mom, then I live with kids. Nope, I like my freedom. That's why I always said I'm too selfish to want to have kids. I, I could not do what it takes to be a good parent, but I don't know, you think I did a good job, Like, Oh. See, my kid's a smart ass and he's always going to say no. I think I did a good job. I will tell you I did a good job. You like me, you send me memes and we laugh together. I send memes to people I hate too. Shut up, you do not. <laughs> You're rotten. Oh, someone said I see, Maddie said I see Juicy Channels in the background, he's over there getting some uh, food and water. We've been looking into getting a water fountain for the cats. I'm a little hesitant because they look like they're really big and there's not a whole lot of space here where we keep the food and water. Um, there's not really anywhere else where we could put it that we wouldn't just kick it. But I've been trying to look and see what the best one would be. If you guys have a water fountain-y, like, where the water's in motion, because I think that might stop Mooch from drinking out of the sink, and it might be a little bit better for the cats and entice them to drink water more. Let me know what you have and what you like. I don't know if it's been three minutes. We're going to call it three minutes. So again, I'm just going to try and add one egg. There we go. And so for the eggs, add them one at a time. Beat just until incorporated. Incorporated. Incorporated, mixed in. I need to kind of scrape my stuff off the bottom here. So one step I did forget, let me see, Amanda, did you get buttermilk? Are you using the trick that I finally remembered to post last night about making our own buttermilk substitute? Um, I forgot to make that ahead of time. I don't think it's really a big deal, um, but I'm gonna need to make that right now. So the recipe calls for half a cup of buttermilk. I never have buttermilk on hand. It's not something that I'm gonna buy because I won't use it up. Mm, you good. use so much of this heavy butter, heavy cream, light butter, sour cream, milk, dry powdered stuff. How long until we just get a cow and we start making it ourselves? <laughs> that would be cheaper. Right. Elon Musk, you need, you need the Cowinator 1000 where we can just like jack in and just make what we need. That'd be so fresh. So, I just I am, need half a teaspoon. I am digging your lemon uh, pile over there. Yeah, you like mine? Yeah, it's so, it's so yellow. What, earlier this week when we got them, they were still kind of hard, so I had to let them sit for a little bit before I could do anything with them, but I think they're good now. Uh, I am going to get myself a half a tablespoon, half a tablespoon of lemon juice. So again, it calls for buttermilk. I don't use buttermilk, and a buttermilk substitute that I use that always works really well for this is... So instead of a half a cup of buttermilk, we're gonna take our measuring cup, we're gonna put 
it's one tablespoon for every cup of milk. So since we want a half a cup of buttermilk, we're gonna use a half a tablespoon of lemon juice. We're gonna put that in here first, then we're gonna fill this up to half a cup. So we're still gonna use a half a cup of liquid, but a half a tablespoon of that is going to be lemon juice. So let me wash this off. I like watching the mixture at that speed. That speed's soothing. Is it? Oh, I was supposed to do it only till mixed, and I just oh, forgot about it. I got sidetracked. Yeah, it's, it's so <laughs> We're good. So you can see right now, it's really creamy. I've got one more egg to add to this, and then it's gonna be time to add buttermilk. So, Amanda, I hope I'm not going too fast, but let me know and I can slow down for you. I'm gonna add my second egg, and hopefully I'll remember to shut that off after it has mixed. I'll remember how many minutes. Just until incorporated, till there's not like egg in there anymore. Not yet. When it's mixed. Still not yet. So I don't have or use a fancy juicer. I just mash my lemon out with my hands. How come Jack LaLanne has this awesome juicer? I just do it with my, my thumbs, really. So I always use my little mesh strainer. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word just so the seeds and bits don't go in there. But I'm just gonna squeeze, hopefully this will be enough to give me a half a tablespoon. So I squeeze it like this, and then I just shove my thumbs into it to squeeze all the rest of the bits out of it. If you're hopefully concerned about that. germs, you could use gloves or a juicer or whatever you want. I'm eating this, you're not, so I use my thumbs. Probably don't cut your hand when you're doing that. <laughs> um, I do have a cut on my fingertip, but it's mostly closed up. This week I got two really bad paper cuts from uh, Manila Folders, and it was the day that I came home to... I didn't do anything with the lemons, but I got a bunch of oranges, too. And it was the day I came home to cut up all my oranges, and I had to wear food-safe gloves so I could do that because I had big old cuts on my finger and didn't want lemon juice in it. Mouse Queen with her final super chat. I swear I don't believe you, but thank you. I do appreciate it. For my reach love, I am not made of a million bucks. LOL, don't mind being around kids or working with kids, but I'm not about that mom life. Still trying to figure me out. Yep. Yeah, it takes a lot. Like, the the bunch of years that Blake was like in school and stuff, like you focus all your attention until he was an adult. If you want to be a good parent, like, you really have to focus so much attention on your kid. And Dan and I constantly have conversations like, how do we do this? What are we doing this right? How should we react to this situation? It takes a lot. You could be a hands-off parent and just let your kid do whatever they want, but you're probably not going to make good people. So there's, there's a fine line there somewhere. But yeah, it's a lot of work. And I wouldn't advise doing it if you don't feel like putting all the work into it. I'm glad for the situation we had, though. Like, I didn't have to birth anything. I changed one diaper. That was it. Ooh, there was a little cut on my finger there. Oh, I didn't know that one was there. <laughs> Your pain entertains Ooh. me. <laughs> that might be like a little fine cat scratch or something, but yeah, that, that got it. Helen says, use the palm of your hand and put the lemon on the bench, not cut, and with the palm of your hand, push down and roll back and, back and forward a few times, you get more juice out of it. Honestly, I usually do that. I'm, again, doing 15 different things and didn't even think to do that. But yes, I usually do. Um, I'll zest them so they get mashed a little bit and then I'll kind of squeeze them a little bit. So yes, absolutely. That is a good trick. Thank you for the tip. I appreciate it. Yeah, that should be enough. All right, I'm just going to dump these seeds in the trash. Can I have a little swiggeroo? Just a little no, sip? because I don't have much. Stop it. You cannot put that in your mouth. What are you Why doing? Is, what's this for? Stop scrounging! What's that butter for? <coughs> You're making me choke. What, are, what? Would you get out of here? Okay, half a tablespoon. The what? Lemon juice. Don't you watch the stream? Okay, I see Amanda. Terry, thank you for trying to help. I see Amanda. Got the second egg, but need help with the buttermilk. Okay, so if you have your lemon juice squeezed already, which hopefully you do, if not, let me know and we can wait. Um, this calls for half, it's really tricky to try to do this at a pace that you guys can follow along if you're baking along, but I'm trying and I'm learning. And I appreciate you letting me know when I go too fast and I don't mind slowing down for you at all. So 
we need a half a cup of buttermilk. Since we're not using buttermilk this time, we're going to use a half a tablespoon of lemon juice in the measuring cup first. Then we're gonna fill the measuring cup up to half a cup. So we still have half a cup of liquid, but a half a tablespoon of that is going to be lemon juice. I hope that made sense. If not, let me know. Um, could the buttermilk be subbed with coconut milk on a serious note, or would it be too thin and watery? I have no idea. I'm sorry, I've never used coconut milk. Again, not a fan of coconuts. I would say Google it, see what people say. I'm If it's similar to milk, it's maybe. It's not, it's water. Is it? it it's it, like it, water? It's water texture in your mouth. Right. Maybe a tiny bit, like if, if, if there was thicknesses and gauges, it's a little thicker, but it is not okay. milk thick. But buttermilk is much thicker than milk. And this still works. So I would suggest you Google it and see what the internet has to say. I'm sure people have tried it and can recommend whatever you need. Sometimes with substitutions, they'll give you some recommendations like half this, half that, or use more of it or whatever. So maybe less of it because it's too liquidy. Look into it and see what it says. Let me know. I'm interested to know. I don't do a lot of um, substitutions. I just kind of go with it unless I'm substituting like I don't want to make a thing. Adrian says, no, you cannot replace coconut milk with buttermilk. Thank you. Appreciate the input. Amanda says, I did it the other way around. I don't know what other way around means. What? Adrian is right with his second thought. Yes, buttermilk is a thick fat and coconut milk is just water. Yes. It needs to come from an animal. Oh, yes. If you put the milk in first, Amanda, you're fine. Just make sure you have a half a tablespoon removed. Look, it's a half a tablespoon. It's probably not going to make a huge difference in the ingredients, like in the, the batter mixture, um, but you wanna end up with a half a cup of liquid. That's the goal. So if you put your milk first and then add your half a tablespoon, probably not gonna ruin anything. I wouldn't sweat it. But for future reference, do the table half a tablespoon first and anytime you need to make buttermilk, add the lemon first, then measure up to the amount of liquid you're supposed to have. Uh, Leslie with the super chat. Hola, doing a great job, my favorite peeps. Love you both more. Love you. I thank saw your you, first. Leslie. I saw your first comment, but Crystal was just talking, so I was letting her go. So thank you. Love I you think too. She retracted it because I went back to read it, and then it was not there. No. She changed her mind. We weren't her favorite anymore. I am just letting you go on your train. I'm trying. I have a lot to say today. I had <laughs> two weeks with. Well, to be fair, we did do a couple of streams in there, but I was not at the hundred percent. So yeah. Around. Yeah, we're getting there. It feels good. Yes. All right, Amanda said I did a full teaspoon, not a tablespoon, help with math. I was told there would be no math. I got you, boo. Hold on. Are you asking Siri? I don't talk to her. Me and her are not friends. See, and you wonder why the virtual assistants don't work for you. Mm-hmm. See, Blake knows what's up. Jim Johnson says buttermilk and the lemon milk okay. substitute affect the pH balance of the dough to help with... Levely. Leaving? Leave, leavening. Leavening. Like how it, it rises. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I see Adrian said something. Three and five eighths is a teaspoon to table. So do, hang on. This says different. This says three teaspoons is a tablespoon. So Science. hang on. We're not using a whole tablespoon. We're using a half of a tablespoon. <laughs> so if you added a teaspoon, I think you should add another half a teaspoon of lemon juice. Do I have that right? Adrian's doing fractions, and I'm not doing The chat's caught up. We're only about four, doing we're that only on a four-second delay tonight. Right. That's the, that's the least we Yeah, I don't think a teaspoon and a half more. I think just half a teaspoon more. I hope you didn't add it already while we're still sorting this out. Because when I Googled it, it says three teaspoons is a tablespoon. It may explode. Kathy says, yes, you're right. Thanks. I like that. Wolfie Pack says, Crystal, how are you not cold? Oh, it's nice and warm in here and the oven's on. I'm good. I'm good. We've had really good luck this year. We were just talking about that like yesterday or today. Uh, we haven't really been cold in the house. Usually like uh, we have single pane windows and like drafts under the doors yeah. a little bit that we can't seem to fight. So it's because I'm home all day. Is you're regulating it because we're not turning it down during the day and we're not right, fighting back right. against I'm, it. I'm, I'm here all day. It's 52 out. It's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad. I'm, yeah. I got a, I got a zippy hood on. What is it, 72 in here? Like, we're good. Yeah, we're good. And I now have a job that's temperature controlled, which I don't know that I've ever had in my so life. You're not cold all day. So, no, it's it's a nice 70 degrees in there. I'm cold on the walk to my car in the morning and the walk from my car into work, and then it's 70 degrees and I'm good. Yes, Terry's got it. And electric blankets everywhere. If you're cold at my house, get an electric blanket. That's all. Just grab one. We got them everywhere. We got them on all the beds. We got little throw blankets here. It's great. 
Uh, Amanda says I added half teaspoon more. Perfect. I think you're good. Funny Cat says if you added extra lemon, don't worry. Extra flavor. Absolutely. Dang, no breathing. Don't sweat it. Okay, let me make sure I am at the right spot here. Okay, so we're going to add buttermilk, vanilla, and lemon zest. I did not get my vanilla out. Ooh, that lemon zest is a fickle beast. Oh, am I allowed to say that? <laughs> fickle or beast? I don't know what that means, the first word. <laughs> you know what fickle means? What do you think fickle means? Um... Fragile? No. Um, like, uh, like bitchy like you? <laughs> no. Uh, that's all. That's all I have. That's it? The, the, like, like, a, like an angry pin principle. No. Fickle okay. would be more like like inconsistent, indecisive kind of thing. Uh, maybe. Does that make okay. sense? All right. Random. Terry says, it's so cozy. Her house is my home. It is. It absolutely is. Terry, you are always home when you are here. Okay, I'm going to let that sit just a little bit. Um, I think I posted on Facebook, I usually make this in the beginning before I start doing all of this. Like, before I'm, after I mix that stuff, the dry ingredients, but before I start actually mixing the batter. Because um, I think it works some sort of voodoo magic. Maybe somebody knows some better stuff about what happens with that. I don't know, it's turning into buttermilk right now. Hannah says, I have an electric mattress pad, it's nice. I had a friend with one of those, and I think it works just as well. Um, cause either you're laying on cold and the, the warm's on top of you and gets warmed, like warms the bottom, or you're laying on warm and the cold is on top of you and gets warmed by the bottom. So either way, I think either one is a good idea. If you guys have not tried an electric blanket, look into it, please. If you're cold when you sleep, even like I put mine on two or three most nights. I put it on high before I get in bed. So it's all nice and toasty. Then I put it down to two or three, just enough to take the chill off when you roll around in bed in the middle of the night. And it's a little cold in the room. Cause you know, we all turn our heaters down when we go to no, sleep. No, it gets hot. I'm a hot pocket. <laughs> yeah, cause you go to sleep with yours on like seven or nine. Okay, so we're gonna do a teaspoon of vanilla. That's my sleep number. I'm gonna use my fancy vanilla on this one. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Thank you, Abby. No, I think I used that up already. Wow, really? Yeah, oh yeah. No way, are you serious? Yeah, I still have the almond, but I think I used all of the vanilla she sent. Nice. Yeah, that was good stuff. I like stopped using what I had and used what she had. It, it was really good. So I don't know if she's here, but thank you, Abby. If you guys haven't already, please smash the thumbs up. It does help the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I see there's 96 people here right now. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much for joining us. If you're just joining, we are making lemon blueberry muffins and we've got some lemonade on the way. We've already made the simple syrup pour. We're waiting for that to cool. So if you guys just hit the thumbs up if you like what you're seeing, we really appreciate that. You can also go to Facebook and follow Getting Baked with Crystal. I've got a group, I've got a page. You can see what I'm gonna make ahead of time. I post that on Mondays. You can go and post the things that you make. Everybody in there is super encouraging and super awesome and friendly and great. So let's see what you're making. I love that you guys are in there posting what you make. I love to see what you guys are making. A lot of interaction. Yes. Yeah, I get like three or four people a day posting what they're making and I love it. I love to see what you guys are making. Um, sorry, I lost track guys. Teaspoon vanilla. Not wait. Why is this one not over the sink? Because if there's extra vanilla, I'm okay with it, and I don't okay. want to waste it in the sink. But not I'd rather... salt. Oh my god! Oh, that was that was just ten dollars right there. Um, but I need a new one, and this is half full. Can you see if there's a new? You have like twenty of these. Where are they at? I've seen them before. It's okay. I got this. All right, you got this. I'll, I'll hang out with everybody. What's going on in the chat, man? Uh, do you like using vanilla bean paste? What is that? I have never used vanilla bean paste, so I could not tell you. Oh, okay. Uh, I make a lemon chicken rice soup, and one of the ingredients you add you add lemon. I like extra lemon for extra flavor. I feel like lemon and garlic are the same thing. Like no, as much as you want. Much as you want. It. Just keep going for it. Use them up until they go bad. Yeah, use them up until okay, they go back. Okay, I need back. you to move so I can come back over there, please. Did you find your more stuff? I did find my more. Can help you with that? Th yeah, this is the one I got at Aldi that was like half the price, so hopefully it's good. Oh no. Yeah, you can't do that. Okay, here, hold this, because I have fingernails and I can do that. So hang on, hang on, hang on. Here, just pass it to me, pass it to me, dog. Don't spill it. No, I can hold it. I'm good, guys. I'm good. You got it? All right, let go. Husky Tail says, oh, you should try it oh, once. Watch out. Don't hit my elbow. Just try that vanilla bean paste. Okay, this looks on point. Amanda says, wait, did you add buttermilk? Mine is not as runny. No, I did not add buttermilk yet. I was letting that sit for a little bit so it could become buttermilky. 
Remember, we're using the, the lemon and the milk as a buttermilk replacement, so I'm kind of letting that, I don't know, it kind of does things. It gets some bubbles and then chunks kind of get on the side. So it definitely does, it does thicken up and the lemon like makes it get chunks in there. So it does kind of turn to buttermilk. It's almost like it makes the milk go bad, but in a good way, I don't know. So I'm adding, I added the vanilla. It was a teaspoon of vanilla, a tablespoon of lemon zest, which I think I measured out, but that was kind of late last night. So let me make sure I did that. Samantha says, hello, Dan, how are you doing today? We are doing much better, thank you. Yes. Much better. Yes, Funny Cat tells Amanda, the buttermilk will look like milk with some weird stuff in it. That's, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, it looks like your milk kind of went bad. So it's almost time to add it. If you've already added it, no worries, it'll be fine. Yes, definitely, definitely. Uh, Husky Tail says it's supposed to curdle the milk a little bit. Yes. With the beans. Okay, uh, just, just dialed in things. Is that what it is now? Yes. All right, so I actually, um, since my, my lemons were not quite ready yet, so I actually used some of my frozen lemon zest, and I just did the best I could to measure it out. It looks like I'm a little bit short, not going to be a deal breaker. Um, some of the liquid, like, separated out of it after it was frozen. Not a big deal. I'm just using my finger to try to get more of the zest out of the liquid so I don't add more liquid, although it probably wouldn't be a big deal because it's just lemon juice. <laughs> Funny cat says, Dan, you should drink the buttermilk. Oh, Dan left. I'll drink the buttermilk. <laughs> you probably don't want I to. I probably don't want to. Okay, so it's a little less than a tablespoon. I'm not going to worry about it. It'll still be plenty lemony, I promise. If you guys are zesting your lemons, I recommend getting a fine cheese grater like this. Not the one that gives you like the big chunks of cheese when you grate it, but the really fine one. I also recommend fully metal. I got one of those KitchenAid ones because I love KitchenAid everything, but the whole frame of it was plastic. So as soon as you try to grate even cheese on it, the frame breaks. So I, I don't even know what brand this is. OXO, OXO. I've had this for years. It works great and I absolutely love it. And now I just got it dirty. Now it has to be washed. Okay, Amanda, mine is more dough-like than yours without the milk. Let's see. Well, did you get everything in there? What do we have? You should have done a half a cup of softened butter, a cup of sugar, and two eggs. It's possible your eggs were smaller than mine. Did you do two eggs? The yolk and the white. We weren't separating it. Yeah, I think that's all we had so far. So let's see, let me know if you use, if you used all three of those ingredients so far. If not, you're missing something. Nas Queen said, buttermilk, the anti-hero of baking. It looks kind of bad, but works. I'll eat yeah. it in the final product, but that's yeah, it. Yeah, do you want to drink this, Dan? Nope, not my mom, not my milk. <laughs> I did both eggs and everything is in. I, I don't know. I wouldn't really worry too much about it. I'm trying to, th like, yeah, mine's kind of liquidy here. I'm trying to make it so you can see it. You have to do, yeah, you're good. I, what would you compare the consistency to at this point? More dough-like, You look like you have vanilla pudding. Yeah, it is kind of a little bit runnier just, than pudding just, just at like, this point. Yeah, yeah, but kind of still reminds me of pudding more than batter. Well, you know what? You have a little bit of extra liquid in your buttermilk, right? So let's let's keep going and see how it works. If you get to the end and it's a little too liquidy, you can add a little bit more. Add a little more lemon juice, add a little more milk, whatever you think is going to work for you. I'm going to get a rubber spatula to scrape all this out because it's going to stick all over the sides. All right. So I added vanilla, lemon zest, and now the milk. The butter milk, the lemon lemon juice milk. Ew. I would never drink this. <laughs> Amanda said, okay, let's do it. F it, just go for it, see what happens. Look, even if it's not perfect, it's gonna be good and y'all are gonna eat it. 
let me tell you. You live with two boys, they'll eat anything. This is what I've learned. When you've got two boys in your house, even if you mess it up and you're like, that's gross, I'm not telling anybody I made that, I'm not showing it to anybody, throw it in some Tupperware and stick it on the counter, it'll be gone in a few days. Is that how you do it? Yeah. Yeah, even if I'm not, like, proud of the thing that I've made, I'll still give it to you guys and you'll eat it and you like it. How come you don't tell me about that? I do. I always tell you, like, oh, this didn't turn out right. I'm not happy with it. You're like, seems fine to me. And then you just eat it. So that just needs a quick little mix. You just want to make sure everything is off the sides and the bottom. I think we're probably pretty good. I'm going to get one more little whip up. Linda said, looks like Dan's got some washing up to do. Yeah, I'll get on it. I don't want to be loud right now with the sink. When we're done, we both come in here and we just like one into the other, just clean everything and knock it out real quick. Today we're it's going usually to, not too bad. We're taco trucking today. Are we? You say that all the time. And we never go. <laughs> I haven't been there in months. It's usually something Terry does with the... Funny Cat has a good point for Amanda. If it ends up to be thicker, when you add the flour, just add a little bit less flour. Just, just short it a little bit. Oh, Hannah says, I wish I had a KitchenAid mixer. Girl, it took me until I was like 30 to get one as a gift. If you can get a knockoff one, if you can fit that in the budget, do it. It's just as good. I had a Sunbeam mixer, I think, from Walmart for years. It worked. It wasn't perfect, but it, it's a stand mixer. It worked. Don't even worry about it. What I was not happy with was when I just had a hand mixer. I hate using a hand mixer. I love a stand mixer, even if it's not a KitchenAid. All right, let me make sure I am in the right spot. We added buttermilk, vanilla, and lemon zest. Um, add flour mixture and stir by hand. So now we're going to take it off the mixer. So Amanda, let me know if I'm going too fast, but you should mix those ingredients in. Can you get rid of this? The Perfecto 39, Kathy sent a super chat. No comment or anything with it, but thank you. I do appreciate that. They're it making a lot too, I think. Are they? Are you guys making the stuff too? I know they did for the lasagna, which turned they out really did. good. They did. Yeah, your guys' lasagna looked amazing. I hope that it tasted good. I'm sad we did not get to do uh, lasagna with my mom. I asked her today because we're doing Christmas on Sunday. I said, are we doing lasagna on Sunday? Because I've been eating it for a week as leftovers, and I don't know if I can do it again. And she was like, no. Lasagna is my New Year's Day thing, and we missed it. No. She was so disappointed. I feel so bad for my mom. You have no idea. I gave her a big old hug yesterday. Mouse Queen at RFSD and hey Crystal still don't believe me about not slamming down another super, super chat girl you are crazy I appreciate you so much but you are crazy Terry says Dan does dishes he does Dan absolutely does dishes but let me tell you a secret when Dan does dishes it takes 10 times as long as when I do dishes and he's not very good at Tetris so loading the dishwasher is not an easy task but I love him and I appreciate the help you like how I saved that nobody saw your thumbs up all right, so before I add the ingredients, I'm just going to stir this a little bit. Jess says, you guys make me hungry. Why aren't you baking along? What are you doing? I know you know how to cook and bake. Girl, get in that kitchen and make some blueberry muffs. Paul Mall says, my family doesn't make desserts a lot, so why don't you be the one making desserts? Do it. Be the person making desserts. Like I told, who did I say? I think it was Maddie earlier. If you don't have good news, make some good news. If you don't have desserts, make some desserts. I promise you it's easy. You could even make a microwave mug cake. Go to Pinterest, go to Google, search microwave mug cake. There's some out there that are good. Some are not so good, but some are good. One of these days, we're going to do one. Jess says, it's 1045. Girl, you stay up till 3 a.m. Right? And hi, late night baking is the best kind of baking. The only reason I do this as early as I do, because look, I just got off work an hour before we start every time. The only reason this show is so early is because we're West Coast. That's it. Otherwise, I would be doing like some 8, 9 o'clock baking. My favorite time to bake is like 10, 11 o'clock at night. It starts to get quiet. The boys chill out. Nobody comes into my kitchen to start poking at my things and turning my things upside down and poking their fingers in things. So yeah, late night baking, no excuse, girl. Jordan with the super chat. It takes Dan twice as long to do dishes because he's live streaming, usually. But even when he's not, it takes him forever. And I'm always like, just, just, just let me do it. It's not a you do it wrong thing. It's just, oh, you take forever. We could be sitting on the couch snuggling, watching some TV, but you're over here doing dishes forever. Terry says, you should do your mug cake. You've had my mug cake. You know, I do have that. I did actually add that to my list on my spreadsheet. That's going to be like a filler because it's a real quick thing. But I do want to show you guys because it's a really good, like quick 
I just want something real fast. And most of them, when we've done mug cakes before, they feel like this size cake. This one's a good size one. I'm sorry, this size mug. Um, we use like the big, like almost a soup mug and it'll fill that up. Oh guys, I'm sorry. It's almost eight o'clock cause I am yapping so much. I hope I'm not keeping you guys too late, especially Amanda who is making this. Luckily, I think we're in the same time zone. Um, okay, so we're going to add the flour mixture and stir by hand just until incorporated. Helen says it's 1445 in Australia. Don't you know we don't use military time? I think that means 245 though. Hannah wants to see me make some homemade fried flour tortillas. I don't know how to do that. What I really want to do is some tamales one day. I just haven't gotten around to You've that. You've been talking about tamales for years. I have because I love them, but they're never, they never have enough cheese in them when I get them out of the I, ladies' chair. I think it would be so fun for us to try to make them right here on this table, not knowing how to make them or doing anything. Yeah? Yeah, cool. Cause if we can go to the supermarket, the what? And, right? And we can, <laughs> we can get the different color of maize, and then we can make them. I'll, I'll, maize? Yeah. And I'll, Masa? Yeah. Yeah, that. And I'll get some pulled pork, and you can get, like, uh, different colors. Yeah, you cheeses. can do them with meat, and I can do it with cheese. Right. I see uh, Samantha asked what a mug cake is. Um, Terry answered, and I think someone else said something. Um, it's it's just a tiny little, like, there's no egg in it, and it's, it's just a little coffee cup full of cake. So when you want, like, honestly, the one that I make is probably enough for two people to have cake. But it's just a single serving real quick. You don't have to make it in the oven. It does take a little bit to mix the ingredients, but you can have a little cake in like 10 minutes. Throw some ice cream and some sprinkles on top of that. That's the way to go. That eggnog ice cream. Yes, that eggnog ice cream on a chocolate mug cake is delicious. Okay, so Amanda, here's my consistency. I don't know if that helps. It's kind of like maybe a little bit thicker than a normal cake mix dough, I think. Batter. Cake batter? Batter. I don't know. I usually have, don't have to talk about my baking. That's what you're doing. You got this. I know that's what I'm doing, and I'm learning. I gotta teach you how to stir with your left hand. Are you right? <laughs> Sorry. So Maybe you should move your camera because I can't stir with my other hand. I am right-handed. Deal with it. All right. Gonna set that aside. Our next step is going to be get your blueberries out of the freezer. We're gonna coat them with flour before we add them. Whoa. Whoa, what? You're gonna put flour. Oh, I dropped a frozen blueberry. Don't put it in my mix. You put the frozen blueberry in your mouth. It's so frozen. Mm, it broke apart nicely. Can I have one more? Yeah, but only one more. Don't you know they make the muffs? Mmm, frozen blueberries, guys. Yeah, is that the way mm. to go? Sleeper hit. Yeah? Yeah. Best thing about 2021? <laughs> so far? Mm. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter how much you add, but you don't want to overdo it because whatever you don't use is going to stay in the bottom. What are you left hand. fingering? I can't left hand. I'm right handed. Deal with it. Move your camera. All right. So I just do like a spoonful and then just mix it up. You just want to get them coated. You can see there's a little bit of extra flour at the bottom. Not a big deal. We're going to carefully pour it in and try to avoid mixing that extra flour into it but you just want to coat them so they don't really sink. Jess said, my kitchen's still a disaster from yesterday when, we, when I made hot Italian beef sandwiches in the Instapot. Girl, you were always making stuff in your Instapot. Oh, Pot. I saw that picture, those look good. But she ran a deli. Oh, now right. those look like sugar plums. <laughs> Do you want to try one now? Because it's not sugar, it's flour. I don't think I do. This doesn't add any flavor. The purpose of this here is just to help the blueberries not sink and not like... The melt is not the word I'm looking for, but like... Come apart. Yeah, like come apart. It just, it coats them so the... It's like a layer to separate them from the batter, I guess. And it helps keep them from sinking. Nancy says, I don't have a dishwasher, so I have to wash all the dishes in the sink. Oh, girl, I'm sorry. But look, I'm that person that fully washes everything in the sink before I put it in the dishwasher, like with soap and everything. You could eat it off of anything in my dishwasher, but I use my dishwasher to sanitize because I'm a little obsessive about germs. Okay, so now that these are coated, where's Amanda? I don't see Amanda. Amanda, are you ready? I'll scroll up a little bit to see if maybe- Yeah, when did we see up? Amanda last? I just feel like if I don't see her chatting, she's in there scrambling, just yelling, slow down, slow down. 
We need an Amanda cam. How, right? Chris, Where, where's the Amanda cam? Chris, how technical are you? Can you? <laughs> can you I feel like he could do it. If, <laughs> if not her, because she doesn't seem like a big dummy to me. I feel like she could probably figure it out. And, and I, if not, the two of them together could figure I'd it like out. I'd see an Amanda cam. We used to do live stream baking with my brother where he'd be on the stream too. Okay, Chris says Amanda added the blueberries. Yeah, she's in there with her hands full. That's what we need updates from you, Chris. So again, I just try to do it like um, this. Real quick, I love how the flower turned purple. Turns purple, yeah. I love it. Look now it. it's blueberry flavored it, flower. It looks delicious. So a little bit of the flour in there is not a big deal, but you don't want to get a whole bunch in there because it's going to turn your uh, muffin batter purple, blue. They're blueberries, but they're kind of purple. Oh, it looks like crunch berries. It does look like crunch berries. <laughs> oh, it. It. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, there's a lot of little ones in here, I guess, because it was the bottom of the bag. Oh, what do you do with the other sift out stuff? That's the, the finest. The flour? Yeah. You can have it. Do you know what flour tastes like? I don't know. I Can I lick my finger and then touch it? You have one? to wait until I get all right. the mini berries out of here. Okay. I'll touch it and then I'll see what it tastes like because it looks like it's going to be delicious. You could use the spoon if you want. Uh-uh. Oh, yeah, it smells good. So you just want to mix this until it's mixed evenly. You don't want to overmix it because your blueberries will start to kind of fall apart. Your dough will become purple. It'll ruin everything. So just until it's mixed in there. <laughs> your tongue is purple. How was it? Was it really good? Did you enjoy it? to my mouth. <laughs> yeah, flour does that. <laughs> Hannah loves that Dan's just a giant five-year-old. He, he kind of is. I kind of have two children. Okay, we are ready to go on this. Jess says, raw flour, mm, E. coli. Thanks, Frank. <laughs> You're supposed to be my best friend. How are you going to do this to me? How are, wh why was that five minutes ago? <laughs> hey, Dan, light on the stream, remember? Dan, if you're thinking about eating that stuff. Chris is laughing at me, completely ignoring the yuck face right next to you. I'm a little busy here. You know how many faces Dan makes and what kind of shenanigans he gets into behind my back all the time that I just do not have time for? <laughs> Terry said, good job, Dan. Maddie saw that, Dan. <laughs> Terry says, that's what you get. Jess says, raw flour rarely gets anyone sick. All right, so back in the day, I used to be a little more adventurous and try to like line this with like butter and flour so I didn't have to use the muffin cup. Use a muffin cup. It's so much easier. If you want to be fancy and you're trying to like sell your stuff, maybe try to take some more time. It's too much work, I promise you. All right, so you want to carefully scoop this because again, you do not want to mash your blueberries. I always just use an ice cream scooper because it's easier. You can use whatever you want, a spoon, I don't care. I think I have too much in there. All right. Uh, I'm trying to be able to get this. Ah! Now I'm making Dan level messes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? That made, that made me laugh. <laughs> yeah, you like that? Yeah, I like, I like that. <laughs> so the batter is a little bit thicker than a cake dough or anything, so it's, when you put it in the muffin cup, it's not going to settle like a, a normal cupcake would. You have to kind of mash it down a little bit, but again, be gentle with the blueberries. Otherwise, you'll just have blueberry mush in your muffs. When it cooks, it will settle down, but just when you're filling it, it's not going to. You do want to kind of make them flat across the top as well as you can, because remember, we are going to add a crumble on the top before we cook it. Hi, what you doing? Looks good. It looks delicious from here. Uh, this just in. Uh, do not eat the purple flower stuff. <laughs> it looks delicious like crunch berries, but it is in fact like eating cement. So what's that? People around the world are imitating what Dan's doing. Please do not eat the purple flower stuff. It does not taste good. <laughs> I see a welcome contestant, everyone, to Drea Kitty Husky, who just became a member. You What's up, girl? You want to talk about what being a member gets? I was just talking about you today. Uh, being a member gets you all kinds of perks, like a green name title so we can see you, different little icons of my sideways head when my hair's up so you guys can see how long you guys have been a member. Awesome. It comes with all kinds of cool stickers. You guys throw some stickers in the chat so we can see the cool stickers that it comes with, and you get access to all kinds of fun vlogs and cool stuff, which um, after I move this all back, I think I have enough footage from... It's hard.
part because we were six, I don't remember. I think I have enough footage in my GoPro that I have a vlog's worth. What I do is I just pull out my GoPro all the time, I make vlogs, and when the cart kind of fills up, I put them together, I give them to you guys, they're 15, 20 minutes long, and then off to the next uh, vlog. I think we have some through Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, see, see, Jordan's got it. Thank you guys so much for all the support, and it's fun being a member. You <laughs> yes. never know what's going to happen next. It's true, mm -hmm. especially when Dan's around. Yeah. Um, I saw, hold up, uh, Funny Cat says, why not use the little lever thing to get the batter out? Um, I'm trying to be careful for the blueberries. I'm trying to make it so you guys can see what I'm doing on the camera, so it's not the right, I should be doing it this way and using the lever, and it would I be a lot you. easier. I got you, watch this, boom, I got you. Where do you want to go, right here? No, I, you should be on this side. Uh, exactly. Let me see. Look, look at home. Um, I also yeah. wasn't really sure how full, like how much was in there versus how much needed to go in here. And I'm trying to be, because the batter's a little bit thick, Excuse you have to be a little bit careful about putting it in here because it doesn't just settle to the bottom. So you have to kind of try to force it into... The cup evenly. Where did you go and what are you oh, doing? I don't think I have enough cable. You broke it. It's off completely now. It feels very TMZ-ish. I'm not like Yeah, it. it's off. It'll come back on. I know, because it got my um, No, the, the best I can do is I can get you like right here. So you don't have to worry about your hand. All right. Sorry about oh, that. Oh, oh, things are happening. Now everybody's posting everything in the chat's going so fast. Uh, how does one become a member, Dan? Um, you can hit the subscribe button that's right underneath, or you can hit the join button right next to the subscribe button underneath this very video if you were on YouTube.com slash RFS Dan, but you don't have to pay. Oh no, you can well, just hit because that. because did you talk about how being a member is $5 a month? It does help the yes. show. It helps us grow both this no, show wait, and wait, Antics. Wait, wait, wait. It's $4.99. <laughs> $4.99? Right. What a great deal. It was great. YouTube suggested it. Hey, by the way, it would be nice if you put this price instead. And I'm like, oh, you're so thrifty. <laughs> um, but it sounds cheap. But if not, just please hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up. It's free to do that. It costs you nothing. And it really helps the channel. Yes, and I do see a lot of you guys sharing this on Facebook. I really appreciate that. It really helps get the word out. I see pretty much every week we have new people in here. Um, we're like in the high 90s to 100s every time now. We were in like the 60s and 70s for how many people are watching. I really appreciate that. You guys are getting the word out. Really, really helps us. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Thank you so much. I see a super chat from Sean Jones who says, You're both making me laugh. I need this. Take my money. Thank you, Sean. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're like in my way oh, and in my light. I'm sorry. I need a third hand. Remember how I'm always talking about a third hand? Well, you can put the camera down. But look, look, like we're close to the th stuff. Watch. This I is... see a super chat here from Drea, who has always sent Kumiko. Appreciate you. Oh, you we love that. We got cat. some cool drone footage today. Blake got a new cool drone. Okay. Here. And um, we got some cool drone footage of Kumiko on top of the outside porch place. Like the, the deck? Yep, rolling around. Super cute. The outside porch place. Yeah, I think I'll English put that, is hard. I think I'll put that in the vlog. Yeah. Can you help scroll through okay. chat? Let me yeah, let me put this back and I can help scroll through chat. Amanda, I hope I'm not going too slow or too fast for you. I know you put your blueberries in ahead of mine. So if you are ahead, you should be putting some of the crumble on there. This usually makes I wanna say it's not quite two dozen, depending on how big you make them. So you wanna kinda space out your toppings so you have enough for the second batch. To go in but honestly even if you didn't have topping they're still a good muffin it's not a big deal i'm just trying to kind of even them out now because some of them do look a little bit light on the filling chris said 100 people watching the stream woot woot again thank you all for watching i really appreciate it if you like what you see please hit that thumbs up button it does help the show super chat from helen with the drooly face i'm saying helen i sent helen some snacks were they fresh? That's what I really want to know because they took, I want to say, about three weeks to get there. Did she hear your Canada story? I think she, she was here right from the beginning. So, yeah, I, I mentioned how the, the snacks got to Australia from Southern California a week faster than they got to... It seems on the other side, like the New York side of Canada, right? He, uh, he's like, yes, like, like um, he's still lower down than Jess, but like over there. Okay. But yeah, he, but the other so no, it basically had he's to go, pocketed between New York and Jess. Right. Okay. But it had to go across our country yes. and up a little. Basically, he's little Detroit. Bit. Basically, he's twenty uh, two hours from Detroit. Gotcha. From what I remember, he's two hours from Detroit. Okay. So yeah, he's across from Detroit. Right. Yeah, and it took a week longer to get it to got him there than yesterday it took to get across the world. <laughs> right. 
All right, so if you remember when we made this, I did tell you it was gonna dry out a little bit. You can see it is a little bit more crumbly than it was. It's not so liquidy. I usually pick it up and kind of mash it a little bit. Have we heard from Chris or Amanda yet? Do we know what's happening there? I looked away from the chat for so long that I don't know what anybody is talking about. <laughs> Curly Productions loves my muffin pan that looks like I've used it a million and twelve times. I've seen this trick with baking soda and stuff to try to get all that like residue off of the pans, but I'm always baking. Who has time for that? Oh, and what Steve sent to Jess's P.O. box still hasn't showed up. And we got a Christmas card <laughs> from him that showed up. Who's, so go figure. Right, right. Steve was so bad. <laughs> he was so he was so bad. All right, Amanda is currently crumbling. Now that I've shown that, let me show right, you. And, and, and literally, um, and literally, Steve and Jess are from here to like, let's say, Terrioy. Right. Like, four right. or six hours. Yep, yep. He goes right across the bridge and then up from Detroit. Like he's got hit there and he goes up uh, to Jess's right. house. So again, you want to kind of make sure you're saving enough for the second batch. I don't necessarily do a solid layer of this on the top, but I just kind of crumble it. So you can kind of see some of the muffin through the crumbly bits. As it cooks, this does become part of the muffin. It cooks into it because it's kind of buttery, so it'll melt. But Crystal, your muffin pan's so old. It is. It has a a, a level, so it's a, it's a cupcake carrier muffin pan. It has a level that sits on top of it and then a cover that sits on the whole thing that clips onto it, but the clips are broken, so I can't actually take any cupcakes anywhere. It's pretty sad. Yeah, but you always put like the the little cups in there. The little cups in there? Yeah, you don't, you don't just like, you don't, you don't just put the, the stuff in the Yes, pan. my food does not touch the pan. I always have the, the muffin cups, but the little bits always get on top. And do then you, you, you scrub and scrub, but it doesn't all come off. While so. you're doing this, do you have recommended muffin uh, cups? Because some of you tell me not to get. Yes, And, and I'm just going to a generic can store you, to get them. Can you grab behind my, my KitchenAid mixer bowl? There's the container. So I have gotten like the cutesy ones. You go to Michael's and there's all the like, oh, it's Santa Claus and it's Halloween. They stink. More often than not, they have this like weird plasticky smell uh, to them. Before or after baking? Both. Like you pull them out of the package and they stink. So I, I'll let them air out and I'll use those for like when I'm giving people things. Like when I ship the stuff, I'll use the, the pretty ones um, in the dividers. I'll post a picture soon on the Facebook group to show you guys what it looked like when I packaged everything up. Um, but yeah, I'll use those as dividers and stuff once they've aired out and don't smell. But I get the Reynolds Kitchen Pastels Baking Cups. It's like a buck, buck 50 for 50 of them. I stock up on them, so I always have them in the cupboard. That's my go-to, that's what I recommend. Um, I have gotten like dollar store knockoff ones. Sometimes they're a little smaller. The size, it looks the same, just glancing at them. But when you put them in your muffin tin, it's smaller than the muffin hole, so it, doesn't work right like your muffin wants to flare out and that's my go-to that's what I recommend if you don't already use it Helen with another super chat they weren't too bad they didn't last too long anyway the family helped eat them they enjoyed the treats they enjoyed the treats they liked them as well good I'm glad what was your favorite you don't have to super chat you could just put it in there I just want to know what your favorite out of everything was I'm just curious I I like it when people report back when they get a lot of stuff um, to see what people preferred Sarah says becoming a member is like being is a bit like being part of the cool kids group. Not that I know what it's like to be one of the cool kids. Me neither, girl. Me neither. <laughs> uh, this looks. I'm gonna go closer. This looks. This looks great. By the way, this looks yeah, really good. I, I'm trying. Let's see. Let's, let's. Makiko Mitsuyasu with the yen super chat. Oh. Crumbles on top of muffins. Looks so good. Arigato gozaimasu. See. Spanish comes in my head way faster. Did all than your Japanese, Japanese go it. away? I can say Konolito wa dare desu ka? Do you remember what that means? Yeah, who is that? <laughs> who's, who's that dude? That doesn't help at all. Okay. I can say Ichini san shi go roku nara hachi Okay, that's, <laughs> that's fine, Sesame Street. Okay, where are we <laughs> yes. at next? Summer? What's funny is my mom learned Japanese when she was a kid. Like, she lived in a neighborhood that was heavily Japanese, and she learned how to count to ten. And I remember growing up her being like, I know Japanese, and she'd count to ten. And I'm like, oh my god, my mom knows Japanese, and now I'm my mom. Um, what are the crumbles made of? Um, the crumbles were melted butter, sugar, flour, and rolled oats, and a little bit of salt. The rolled oats I put in the food processor just to make them a little bit more fine. So, it's like a little oatmeal butter-based kind of something. 
It's really good. It the flavor in these muffins. I just tried these on a whim. Like oh, I want blueberry okay. muffins, and I found this lemon one. I was like, I have tons of lemon. Let's try it. How many times have I made these since I found this recipe? Yeah, a few times. They're like, really in really a good. few months. I've made them probably half a dozen times in the last maybe three months. So the somehow this flavor combination is just amazing. Right. It looks good. I just looked at what it looked like to have my camera so close on the big screen. I'm sorry for, like, that was too intrusive. <laughs> I'll back up a few Yeah, feet. at some point, I don't remember who it was, somebody said something about it uh, like looking back. like it was in the batter. Sorry, like, I, because it, it, I have, like, it's like a tiny screen over here, so I want you guys to be able, I'm a visual person, so I want you to be able to see as clear as you can. And then I saw, like, on our big screen, I'm like, ooh, back up. <laughs> I felt uncomfortable. Sorry, I'll stay right there. Uncle Yukon, yes, it is like an oatmeal cookie crumbles. Yes, absolutely. Um, Hannah with another super chat. I love supporting any way I can, and I'm in a place where I can now. Awesome, thank you. We do appreciate it. As I always say, it does help the show. It helps us to be able to put a little bit more money into the show, um, buy more ingredients, buy Dan's costumes when we do Dantics and stuff. All that stuff helps and does help us to grow what we are doing. Um, and the rad cape. Can and we see the and cape my, again? my rad. Here, hold on. It's not this a time, cape; it goes on the front. This time, I'm taking it. I'm taking it off. Look, look, let's look. I want to see what the material is. It's Dia de los Muertos cats and fish and cats and cats with fish. It's so fun. It's hard to find anything cool out there. And this was from Etsy, so thank you, whoever made it. Like, I'm going hands. to look up the shop once I put this in the the oven. Remind me, I want to look up the shop. I like that, but it, it, it's hard to find. Like. Because, you know, you just go to Amazon for stuff and you look around. There's not very many non, like, I love Lucy, like, things. I like, which I love cute. that style. That's so I fun. I love, like, the 50s, 60s kind of style. But I also needed to have some of my style to it, too. So we looked through literally hundreds of aprons before I found this one. and was like, nailed it. That's the one. And actually, let me tell you why this lady in the shop was so awesome. The package got lost. It said it was delivered, and it was not delivered, and I was so heartbroken, and I did everything I could to try to figure out where it was. I filed a claim with USPS, and they were like, oh, yeah, you should contact the seller and tell them to give you another one for they, free. They were just offering I'm like, it yeah, up. yeah, I don't know that that's how that works. They were just like, they'll send you one for free. I'm right. like, whoa, bro. So I, I was emailing the lady the whole time through this and trying to work it out. Let me put this in the oven real quick. Amanda says she's already done with the first dozen. It goes so much faster when you're not yapping, doesn't it? Start in the second dozen. Awesome. Um, so this goes jeez you're already done with the first one and it cooks for 22 to 25 minutes i really talk a lot so this is the first time i've ever seen crystal like not take a breath <laughs> for a long time oh my gosh so um keep, keep, here we go so once i realized it had not been delivered i gave it a few extra days because sometimes something will say delivered and it's not like the mailman just wants to get credit for doing his work when he didn't actually do his work and then I contacted the lady and I, you know, asked her to verify the address that she sent it to, even though I could see, just wanted to make sure that's where she showed she sent it to. And I'm like, okay, here's the situation. Didn't get it. And she goes, we'll file a claim with USPS. Told her that's what I'm working on. It took forever to hear back from USPS. It was like a full month after it should have been delivered that they finally got back to me and told me, sorry, deal with it. Um... So I worked with her and she's like, you know what? If you just pay for the, the shipping, I'll send you another one. So awesome. Like, I don't know if she personally made this because it did have, it has like a tag inside. Like, like when you buy something, it has like a size tag. It had like a, they poked the tag through like a, a this thing, like tag hanging on it. Um. I don't know, but this is amazing. It's got a little ruffle, lacy, where are we? Oh, you got rid of that camera. It's got lacy stuff on it. It's really well made. It's it's awesome. And I just had to pay shipping for the other one. So let me look that up real quick because I do want to give her some credit. I want to send you guys over there if you want to get a, um, sorry, my train of thought left without me. If you want to get an apron, check out this store because it is awesome. Let me find it. You have a Michelob Light beer ad playing before your... Awesome. Um, so it's Vintage Galleria, all one word, V-I-N-T-A-G-E-G-A-L-E-R-I-A. -E -E um, super, super awesome, awesome store. I will definitely be going back. The tag here says hemmetstore.com. So I haven't gotten a chance to look that up yet, but it says it's vintage inspired, rockabilly, pinup, retro, and day of the dead, clothing, art, jewelry, and accessories. Um, are we, we don't have that camera on, huh? It's got this cute little, here, like, watch. skeleton. Are we here? Uh, like, the little skeleton on the tag. Oh. So it's hemmetstore.com. I will be checking this out for sure, because I want to see what else kind of stuff they have. So I don't know if, 
if she makes them and sells them in this store, if she sells this store's things on Etsy. I don't know what the connection is, but I highly recommend it. You guys go check it out. Vintage Galleria on Etsy. Super awesome seller, super easy to deal with, super good price. Um, beautiful product. So that, that's all I got. That's my commercial. Um, Helen says, wet your fingers with water, shake off the excess, and then break up your crumble. I should try that. Absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate the tip. Helen says the fudge was the best. The eggnog fudge. Oh, you got flour everywhere. What are you doing, Dan? I'm surprised because the eggnog fudge, like, almost was like three weeks later. Like, that was the best. Awesome. I'm glad to hear that that held up well enough that that was the best out of it. Oh, Amanda meant she was done panning the first dozen. It isn't baked yet. I only have one cupcake pan. So I do want to say, make sure, unless you have a huge oven, don't put them both in at the same time because it will not cook evenly. If they're side by side, the stuff at the edges of the pan is going to cook faster and it's going to burn. So if you do end up doing that, like if you're crunched for time and you want to cook them both, halfway through, take them out and flip them around. So what was in the middle is now at the edges and what was at the edges is now in the middle. You don't want to stack them even if you have shelves in your oven because the way, unless you have, I think, I don't have one, but I think a convection oven because it has the fan that moves the air around, it might work better. But if you stack them, it's the heat's not going to get to everything evenly. So it's not going to cook evenly. So I would recommend you do one pan and then the other. Are you over here in the middle of my story trying to show off brookies? No, I'm just setting up the next thing when you uh, call to me. When I call to you. See, so Terry, thank you for putting the name in there. It's one L though. Vintage Galleria with one L in Galleria. But thank you. I do appreciate you putting that in there. I think maybe as a mod, you can put the link. If, if someone who is a mod can find the store, I would do it. I should have been prepared. But again, I get off of work and hurry up and come home and change and get ready for this. So I didn't have time. Baby steps. Well, I'm getting there. I'm trying to get myself, get everything in order. Dan patiently waiting his turn. Everybody wants to know about your Orgas. I need to run to the restroom because we've been at this for over two hours. So why don't you have a Brookio moment? Oh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll wait till you get back for the Brookio because it's, it's, all about, it's all about you. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? You guys having a good time tonight? It's Friday night. It feels good. I've been working behind the scenes here to try to make sure that the lights don't point at us no more. Just suggested that all my light rings turn around. So, and bounce off the walls. So I've been doing that. Ah, I also have the mic back. Just trying to like look at audio stuff behind the scenes to see how loud I can make things without blowing out your eardrums. It's been super fun. It's fun working in the background. It's fun. It's like a, it's like, I'm like the modern day Ron Howard where like, I have to like act and direct and then make sure that I have all the cameras set up and produce and make sure that the music comes in and out. And I still have to make sure the music comes back in before we leave and end the stream. And it's been so much fun doing that part and not have to like be so much in front of the camera. So it's kind of like my hobby now is trying to make this, this look better for all you guys. Yes. Oh, is Crystal gonna be mad about the Brookies? Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'll tell. Okay, I'll tell you guys. Shh. So Crystal thinks she invented the Brookie. I know, right? Not not invented it, but like she invented the Brookie. So she made this, but she doesn't call it the Brookie. And she made this brownie cookie thing 15 years ago, and she thought it was the greatest thing. And then she got mad when she started seeing it in public. And uh, Jess said, you got to get those Brookios for that food review. I'm like, all right. So I got some today and I brought them in the house and she just like snarled at them. And Blake didn't know the story. I said, hey, Blake, I set Blake up, go over there, grab those Brookios when Crystal walks by and, and he knows I'm setting them up. I said, and just go like, man, those look so good. So Crystal comes home. She walks by. Blake grabs the Brookios and goes, look, Crystal. Brookios from Oreos. These look so good. And she just like fumed out of her ears. It was the best thing ever. So she fumes out of her ears because of the Brookios because she thinks that her things are, are, are uh, brownie Oreos or uh, brownie cookies, brookies or whatever. And so she's mad at it and I can't wait. And when we do the food review, I'm going to make her try one and she's going to be so mad on the camera. She's going to be so mad on the camera. Yes. Oh, yes, thank you for posting the, the link to where you can get a, a Crystal's cape. I always call them capes. But anyway, so that's the story of the Brookio. She's not going to be happy. So when she comes back in, you'll get to see her just, like, blow her lid. It'll be funny. I'll be like, tell everybody why you don't like the, the Brookio Oreos. It's great. So that's it. That is, that is why. Let's try some of this stuff. What is this? Huh. It tastes like... It tastes kind of like um, 
It kind of tastes like when you when you're ready to make like sugar cookies. Let's try this thing. Mm, that's pretty good. Oh, that's really good. Oh. Are you eating this stuff? Yeah. You're not mm. supposed to be eating it. Hey, there's stuff in the in the. Wait, wait, are you eating it and dipping your spoon back in there? Oh no 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 no! Just the one. Just. You're canceled. You're so canceled. All right, Amanda, can you confirm that your stuff is in the oven? Or if I need to wait a little bit, I'm ready to mix up some lemonade because I would like to add some vodka to it. I think we're getting towards the end of things. Terry says, save me a Brookio, girl. You know we will. You know I got 10 packages of Oreos in there. These aren't going to go fast. So what is your thoughts on this, just real quick? Okay, it's a chocolate Oreo, so I'm not going to love it just right off the bat. I don't like the chocolate Oreos. Mm -hmm. Not a big fan of the chocolate flavor. It's... Not my favorite. Um, the fact that it has three layers in there entices me. I'm interested to see if it's thicker than a normal Oreo or if they were kind of skimpy on the ingredients. Hate that it's called a brookie. You know this. Why? Because I don't like that word. It's what should it be called? Word. What Cookie it be? brownie. No, that is too many words. No. Nope. This is three words in one. <laughs> that is so... What's Blake is fascinating. Can you come over here? Can you, can you come give your rant on camera? Like... The geniusness behind this is insane. But by, by taking brownie, cookie, and Oreo and putting it into, into one, word. one word, you love that. Well, that's Pukio? three words in one. <laughs> Someone earned their paycheck that week. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, they dropped the ball with what the s'mores. Yes. Why didn't they call s'mores Oreos s'moreos? They dropped the ball. What that were one. they doing? They who, obviously didn't hire this guy. Who? Right. Yes. They, after that, I'm sure people were like, "Why isn't it s'moreos?" And they're like, "Hey, maiming guy, you're fired. Get someone younger and fresher in here." And he was like, "Brookios," and they're like, "Yes, you're in. <laughs> you're like the ginger Larry David." <laughs> yeah. I'm a little bit hyper vigilant about things. Sorry, Why? not sorry. Because you did it first. You you are what? stuck on this. Look, be you did it first. before cookie brownie was popular in the stores, before you could go buy a mix <laughs> See, of, I told you guys. of cookie and brownie, <laughs> I was making cookies and brownies together. I'll show you. Hold up. I'm going to show you. What, you got pictures? No, I don't you have pictures. got a pictures. photo book? I'm going to show you my pan. Where's my, <laughs> where's my cookie brownie pan? I don't know. I think you're lying. Someone stole my cookie brownie pan. Is it in here? I think you're lying, Crystal. Yeah. <laughs> What is a pan gonna show us? No, I'm gonna demonstrate what I did. So one time after Valentine's Day, I found these on clearance and they're super shallow pans. And I decided to make cookie mix and a uh, brownie mix and make super out. flat pans of it. And then while it was still warm, I took it out of here and I put it together so it melded together. And I got little fancy boxes to put it in and I would bring them places. <laughs> you stop it. I hate you both. I hate you both. Go ahead. Please go ahead. But that was the thing that I did. I made little heart-shaped cookie brownies and I called it cookie brownie and everybody loved my cookie brownie. And then cookie brownie became a thing that everybody wanted and I stopped making cookie brownie. I haven't made cookie brownie I just, since. I just love that in your world the Oreo man is watching in the window <laughs> <laughs> while you're making cookie brownie and he goes back to the big old mustache and whirl around and he's just like oh my gosh and then now look at it <laughs> you're like Al Gore you guys you're like oh, I invented the internet <laughs> okay Amanda says she's good for the lemonade I don't know what else happened while I was gone hopefully you're managing chat uh, I see Christopher Fred asking has anyone tried the Lady Gaga Oreos no I did see them on I follow this account if you guys don't follow it you need to go follow Junk Banter J-U-N-K-B-A-N-T-E-R it's my favorite junk food like bootleg snack account on Instagram and they always have all the bootleg snacks before they're out um, by the way go follow all the bootleg snacks uh, that's my food account that I used like three or four times and then never did again, but I'm planning a comeback on that. That's on my list of things to do. All the bootleg snacks. Um, PJ says, this has been a very cat-free live stream. It has. Everybody's sleeping. Um, on my way back through the bedroom, I did see Kitty on the bed. She's lounging in there. She's actually spent a lot of time out this week. I'm happy for her. Hannah says, I would like to add some vodka to it. Is the story of my life. Last super chat from me, I swear. That's a good story for your life. I'm down with it. Oh, what a fun Friday night. Yeah, you fun, I'm, Crystal? I'm enjoying myself. Chris said, does someone need more vodka? No, look, first of all, the vodka you sent me is top shelf stuff. I don't really pay attention. Look, I don't get bottom shelf, but I get like second shelf. Cause- I want to watch this for over here. Vodka's kind of expensive. Look, I've only had a half a mug of wine too. This is just what's happening tonight. Right, so oh, on. vodka you sent me was like second from the top of the shelf. So maybe, maybe even top shelf. I don't know. Thank you. I appreciate that. It was good stuff. I'm good. What are you doing? 
Oh, so we went to the store this week and my go-to Pinnacle Vodka was $6.99 for two bottles. $6.99 each if you bought two bottles. So you know I got two bottles. So we got some of that. Oh, what else is going on here? Oh my gosh, Sarah is live streaming her wedding. Sarah, I'm in. I will be at your live stream of your wedding. I'm so all about that. Uh, what else is going on? Hey, read, yeah, read a couple of these chats so I know if I'm caught up or not because I can't tell if this laptop's caught um, up. Terry says, Jess says she hasn't been able to find the, the cookie brownie Oreo. <laughs> Wait, she says she hasn't found them anywhere. Terry, uh, Terry says, Jess, there's no cookie brownie Oreo here either. Terry, you know why I love you? Because you said cookie brownie and oh. not Brookie. Yeah. Here, You're my bestie problem. and I love you. Poor Jess has to put on a face mask. Um, they're at Walmart. Poor Jess has to put on a face mask like all the rest of us? To get to the Walmart. Because we don't want to be seen in that Walmart. Because um, we're Meyer people. I bet people. it's better than ours. We're Meyer people in Michigan. Oh, I'm um, Jess, sorry. They're at the Walmart. Leslie says, I'm sure Crystal's cookies and brownie combined is way better than any Oreo brownie combo for sure. You know it. You know it is. Maddie says, thank you for the laugh. I need a good laugh. I'm glad that we can entertain you. Like, this is just us. Look, we're hyped up because we're here. We're entertaining you. We don't necessarily sit here 24-7 with this kind of energy, but this is just us. This is how we are. One reason I really like doing this is because we can just be more us, whereas Dantix is a lot more focused on the questions. We have some conversation with you guys, but it's a lot more um, focused on what we're doing, whereas clearly you can see I'm not very focused because I still haven't made the lemonade. Sorry, Amanda. We're getting there. Let's do that. Dan, do you want to try the simple syrup? I I think I want to just stay right where I'm at. <laughs> you go ahead and keep on keeping on. Uh, oh yeah, people spotted Mooch. Is he snuggling with you? He's probably mad because I haven't cuddled him since I've been home because I had to hurry up and get oh, ready. We're hanging out. We know. We're hanging out. Okay. So here's the deal. I talked in the beginning about how it makes about four quarts. I can never remember what the like split in half ratio is for this. I, um, I should really write it down at some point. Um, so what I do is I always pour it into a measuring cup and try to figure out what half of this would be. Because even though we added, what, two cups of water and two cups of sugar, it does dissolve in there. So it's just under three cups, it looks like. I don't know. You can't see that because the camera's too high. I can see right there is three. Yeah, just under three cups. So let me get my other measuring cup clean real quick so I can dump half of that into here. Uncle Yukon, you only have like five more Oreos left. I think we talked about it on the show one time about how much Oreo stash I have because I like to buy all the bootleg snacks when I find them. Leslie says, since everyone's talking about vodka, are you going to make some sort of baked goods with vodka? That would make me happy. I wonder. Have you not Pinterest that yet? I have not. I know like when we go to the yard house, Blake likes to get the vodka shrimp. So I know you can make like pasta with vodka sauce. It's got a hint. Just, right. just, just a hint. Yeah. Right. But I don't know if there's a vodka dessert. I, I'm sure there is. I'll have to look into it. I, good idea. I will pin that for later. Okay. So just under three cups. So I'm going to try to get about a cup and a half in here. Uh, where, where's it going into? It's going into here. Okay. Where? You're, you're good. Just go it's really hard for me to do my thing when you're trying to make me do your thing. Oh, it's okay. Just go for it. We know what pouring is. So I'm going to try to get just under one and a half cups and this should be just under perfect. Those are both at one and a half cups or just under it. Um, what else is happening here? Read the, the chat for Oh, me. okay. Um, Terry says, have you tried chocolate? Have you tried the chocolate caramel? It tastes like German chocolate cake. Ooh, yum. That sounds good. I just don't like the chocolate Oreos. It's just not um, my thing. I do like German chocolate cake. cake. But I, I like the coconut I do. and you I don't, don't like, like coconut, coconut, but I like German chocolate cake. Just minus coconut. No, I, I like it. That's what makes it the cake? Yes, that's what makes it German chocolate cake, but the coconut in it is mild enough. I don't want to just like eat coconut snacks. Like you have some like shaved coconut dried or something. I'm not really a huge fan of that but I like German chocolate cake. Okay, so Amanda and anybody else making the lemonade, get your pitcher. Um, the recipe that I posted is the 
full, like, all the ingredients. But again, unless you have a really big pitcher, if you have a four-quart pitcher, go for it with everything. Pour it all in. Make yourself a big old pitcher. I'm cutting it in half so it'll fit in my two-quart pitcher. So I am going to add one and a half cups of the simple syrup. Oh, this is where I always have trouble. So the recipe says two cups of simple syrup and a cup I always struggle with this. Hold on guys, I'm doing math in my head. So if I did one and a half cups, I used three quarters of what the simple syrup called for. So I need not a cup. That's three quarters of a cup, right? But then I, okay, then I don't have enough lemon out. Can I do something for you? No, I'm, I, it's for second batch of lemonade. I'm just trying to make sure that I do this right before I mix everything together. So one and a half is three. Okay, so yes, I'm gonna use three quarters of a cup. If I'm doing math wrong, please tell me, but I think I'm doing it right. Uh, you're smarter than me, so I can't even fact check you from that. Okay, so mixing it up calls for two cups of simple syrup, one cup of lemon juice, and then the cold water, we'll get to that. I'm gonna do one and a half cups of simple syrup, which is three quarters of what it calls for. So then instead of a cup of lemon juice, I'm gonna use three quarters of a cup of lemon juice. And then I need three quarters of the eight cups of cold water, which is six cups. Yes? Yeah, Dookie Hauser. Tell me if I'm right in the chat. I'm gonna read <laughs> some chat while you guys confirm if I'm doing that right. Hannah says, this is why you haven't ad had the vodka yet. Super chat from Jordan who says, I learned this from my former GM who is from Germany. German chocolate cake is not German. I've learned that most things that have a country in the name are not from that country. I don't think French fries are French. It's just what people do. Sarah says I'm correct. Sarah, you're smart. I'm trusting you. Let's do this. Okay, and then hopefully I did my math right as far as what my picture is gonna that hold. That was just the first yes, the first. I trust Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> well, before that I got a no idea, so I can't really trust that. Okay. So I gotta go over to the fridge. So Monkey Dan's gonna come in. Oh, Paul, 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 I'll give you an AFK. <laughs> that would be me. Good yes. Look out. Yes. Hello, everybody. How are you doing this year? Ah, it's fun to be on this side of the camera again. I cannot wait to do Dantix tomorrow night at 6 p.m. You guys know the drill. Come see me do wacky game show stuff. I'll have a new set background. And uh, yeah, no Christmas tree, obviously. I did save all my Christmas ornaments, so thank you for everybody that super chatted during the Christmas month of December. I kept those all. I told Crystal that that was my favorite part of the holidays was the ornaments that you guys put on my tree. So cool. So cool. Did you have a good time with that, Crystal? I did. That was a lot of fun. Right? Yeah. I would stare at it every day because it was behind my desk. I would just stare at it and just be like, wow. Like, I would rub them. I know it's weird. I'd rub them because it felt like tangible. Like, oh, it's tangible. Because we don't have, you know, we give you guys content, but like, I don't get, you know, I get chat this way. So to feel your guys' like, like super chats in real life on ornaments, I know it sounds weird, was super cool. I will say the fact that we weren't able to have a Christmas, doing all of that all month, like, kind of made up for it. That, right. that was our Christmas celebration. Marie with the super save. Uh, be careful with that laptop on the floor. Thank you so much. I got it. I love the Dantry. I love the Dantry, too. I took a lot of pictures pictures of it from my memories, so. All right. Yes. Excuse me. With okay. you. I'm moving. Okay, so I have four cups of water in here. I'm going to try to add two more, but I don't know if it's going to fit. I made it. I think that I usually do, I cut the whole recipe in half when I mix it. I don't know. I haven't made this, I think, since March when I made it for my mom's birthday. So now I'm gonna carefully try to mix this. We'll be good like once we pour a cup out of it. Oh, Hannah says, I'm too shy to call in. Don't be afraid. I get it though, I'm a shy person. Like. I'm sure you can't tell with this going on, but I, I'm i comfortable with you guys. Like, you guys are all friends. Every now and then, I'll be doing the game show, and I'll have this outer body experience. Outer body? Yeah. Outer. What's it called? Outer body experience. Out of? 
It's like out, you've left outer. your body. No, right. not outer. <laughs> um, and oh, Amanda needs the measurements again. Okay, Amanda, I don't know what size your pitcher is. So originally you want to do a cup of the lemon juice, two cups of simple syrup, and eight cups of water. So the easiest way, and what I really should have done, is just to cut that right in half. Do a cup of the simple syrup, half a cup of lemon juice, and four cups of water or whatever math you want to do on that. You can pull up the recipe on your phone as well, um, or computer, whatever you got going on. Pull up the recipe on Facebook, and that's got like what you're gonna mix, and you can do whatever divided math you need to do for that. Two quart pitcher, okay, yes, yeah, so you've got the same that I got. So if you three quarters it, it'll give you enough to make two pitchers, but I don't know if you can see, it's like, right to the top of the pour spout. So I have to be really careful here with that, um, with the stirring so that I don't dump it everywhere. But okay, so if you're doing this, the math is gonna be one and a half cups of simple syrup, three quarters cup lemon juice, and six cups of water. I think we're probably pretty well mixed in here and we can add some vodka. Oh shoot, thank you, Crystal. Yes, I shut the timer off and I didn't actually take the muffins out. Good looking out. Okay, I put them in for 22. It's 22 to 25. I'm gonna let it go a couple more minutes. One of these days after I make things, I should really write the actual time that I use in my cookbook because I always just write down the range. All right, are you ready for some lemonade? So this is not gonna be cold. You definitely wanna pour it over some ice. Oh, sorry, uh, Mooch just walked all over my laptop and hit enter and uh, sent you guys all a message, so. Uh, <laughs> That's from Mooch. That is from Mooch. A bunch of Y's to the sixth power. Y to the sixth power. You guys can decipher that. Chris says, I have both in the house, so you choose for Dantix tomorrow night. Whiskey or vodka? Pick one and we'll drink together. You know I'm a vodka girl. I used to be a tequila girl, but somewhere along the way, I switched to vodka. I'm not even really sure how or when that happened, but now I'm a vodka girl. I don't really know what to do. Do you do stuff with whiskey? Do you just drink it straight? I don't know. Is your vodka a prop? No, my vodka's gonna be used. I'm getting oh, there. Okay, my bad. What do you mean, is it a prop? Like you wanted to get rid of it? I was just gonna like, I was just trying to help. No, we're making vodka lemonade. Are you having lemonade? Do you wanna get a glass? But it wasn't vodka lemonade before tonight. No, I. Do you watch the show, Dan? Yeah, I didn't promote that because you didn't tell the promoter. No, Amanda asked early on if you could add vodka to it, and that again, Chris, you can add vodka to the lemonade. I'll just take a sip. When my mom had her birthday party at the beginning of the year in March, we um, remember we brought lemonade over there and then we added vodka to it. Megan says in her best Napoleon Dynamite voice, oh, "Vodka's gross. Gosh." <laughs> Vodka's actually not gross because it doesn't really have a flavor. It's less gross than most it's alcohols. It's less gross than all the alcohols combined. Yeah. Which is a Long Island iced tea. <laughs> oh, gross. I learned the hard way about those. <laughs> yeah, most people do. We couldn't see how much you put in there because you strategically <laughs> blocked it by your lemonade. Terry says you should pour a shot. Not without you, sorry. You don't need to see how much vodka's in there. I'm good. I think I gotta stumble over to the food truck, uh, to the taco truck with Blake after this. Yeah. So, yeah. Good deal. I will let you do that. All right. So. All right. <laughs> Crystal with the tip. Make sure your kids don't drink it if it has vodka in it. Don't add vodka to the pitcher. Then then people are going to inadvertently drink it and waste your vodka. No, put vodka in your glass and add the lemonade. Just like you would do vodka and cranberry or vodka and orange juice or vodka and whatever you mix your juice with. Just put the... Uh, the vodka in there, I always do ice first, the way my dad taught me when I was a kid, ice first, then however much vodka you want, which I was taught, if you put the ice first, you do about a third of the glass with vodka because the space is being taken up by ice. So it's not really a third of a glass because there's ice in there and then you top it off. That's how my dad taught me. Husky Tails, I drank too much vodka in my 20s and now I cannot stomach it. Um, I had a really bad experience with gin once. Don't even want gin in my house. Like the gin blossoms? No, like gin alcohol. I, right? I don't want to smell it. I can't with gin at all. Mm. Ugh, no. I didn't know about that until I heard it from you. <laughs> I see what you did there. Is there oven cam? Boom. Are we here? Okay. So I would like them to be a little bit more brown on top. So I'm going to pop it in for another like two minutes. They're probably good, but I just wanted a little bit more brown. So Amanda, use your best judgment. Yours is probably already done because you had it ready to go before I did, I think. 
Yeah, Hannah, I'm with you. The smell of gin is just, I can't even deal with it. We got some once when we went to VidCon one year. Everybody had flown in and then bought alcohol, and then you can't take it on the plane home with you. So they just left us because we're from California. Yeah, we Andy's gin. <laughs> yeah, we took everybody's alcohol. We came home with like four or five different kinds of alcohol that we don't normally drink. Some Fireball, some gin. Um, Ooh, the Fireball is fun. I don't, I don't like Fireball. It keeps you warm. Not a fan. This is, I put too much in here, and I'm having a hard time stirring it. Um, but yeah, I, I can't. We, I think we gave the gin away. <laughs> All right, let's see. That's good. You want a sip? Where are you going? In frame sip. <laughs> I'm tired of bending over. Oh, wowie wowie! Yeah? Yeah. Like it's strong or it tastes good? Uh... You can't tell because vodka doesn't have flavor! I can't tell. Um, I don't know if I... I, I guess I can taste... I don't know. I can feel that it's lemonade and like tingly, but I don't taste vodka, so that's dangerous. No. It is very, vodka is always dangerous. That is very dangerous. Uh, Helen says, teach us how to make a punch with alcohol in it. I don't know how to make alcohol drinks. <laughs> like, I've got my couple of go-tos that I do that I just kind of wing it. Um, we can definitely do that, though, for, like, holidays and stuff. I've been, I actually have a, I don't know if it's a vodka or just a drink board on my Pinterest. Um where I've, I've pinned different recipes, but then I try things like you got the ingredients for a tequila sunrise and I made tequila sunrises and they weren't really that good. We drank them. No, I didn't. No, you didn't no, like it. I don't no. say no to anything. No, but Leslie and her girls were here and, and some of us were drinking it and it was all right, but it wasn't like when you get it at the bar. I don't have bar skills. Like I was never a bartender. I did think about it for a while, going to bartending school to learn how to mix some drinks. Oh, but you could Kokomo. Just like that movie, and you could be spinning bottles and stuff. I should probably take these out because I didn't set up. All right, I'm going to oven cam. I'll tell you right or left. All right, so... Uh, perfect, right there. I think we're probably good. I'm going to poke it. If you guys don't know, you can poke it with a toothpick. As long as the toothpick, toothpick comes out clean, your stuff is done. We're good. It's got some blueberry on it. There's a couple of little crumbs, but that's what you want. Those crumbs are cooked. There's no raw dough in here, so we are good. Get this out of the way. We have one more step to the muffins. Again, Amanda, I'm sorry. We've been at this like almost three hours. I hope we're not like keeping you up and taking too long for this. I always have good intentions to do a hard two hour show, but then I start talking. We haven't had social interaction in three weeks. It's not like there's new episodes of MacGyver to go watch after this. MacGyver? So. Yeah, it might as well hang out. Uh, we're gonna eat this. They look good. So. If you don't have them, these are cooling racks. They come in a variety of different shapes, sizes, colors, whatever. Um, this helps. When you're doing cookies, you always want to let them set a little bit before you take them off the pan. But when you're doing something like muffins, um, you want to take them out of the pan as soon as you can. Get them onto the rack so that they can cool. Otherwise, when they're in the pan, they still continue to cook because the pan is obviously still hot. I have fingernails, so I'm able to just scoop things out with my fingers. What's going on in the chat, Dan? We love your uh, scooping method. You look like a crane. You look like a crane machine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm really good at those. And uh, I'm sipping on uh, your lemonade here. Good job. Oh, not so bad. It's really it? good. Oh, that's really good. And your muffins look really good. I was just sitting here trying to turn down the lighting so you can see the muffins better, true to color. I love your uh, cooling racks. That's something they're we need to put They're a little sad. Away. I use the heck out of them, so they're kind of like warped. And I have three of them that stack together, which is super handy. If you do get some, if you don't already have them, get the ones that stack together so that you can do more than one row. Because they do hold about a dozen of whatever you're doing. You can cram a little bit more on there. Um, but I do, no, 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 stop. What are you doing? We're going to take them over there. You are not going to take them over right. there. I will take them over I, there. I have Thank this you. nice special space over here for, okay, your, perfect. for your stuff. Um but I do need to get my second batch in there. So I'm hoping we can kind of wrap this up by nine o'clock so you guys can still have a Friday night um, and it'll be midnight for a lot of you. So I don't want to keep you too long, but I want to get the second batch in the oven because I'm going to make the glaze and we're going to glaze them. Um, but I want the other ones cooking because the glaze does start to kind of set a little bit. I am. I, I really do like your yellow uh, cooling. I love pads. these. Um, they're, they're trivets. And most of the time they'll be made out of fabric or um, kind of like a ceramic, kind of like a coaster. Like a doily? 
fabric like a doily? No, fabric more like a oven mitt. Okay. They'll be like quilted. Um, to me, that's like kind of like grandma stuff, which is fine and cool if that's what you're into. I wanted something a little more like modern and cool and colorful. I've really been into color lately, if you haven't noticed by my house. Um, so I got these little silicone ones. They're really easy to clean. Just rinse them off, soap them up, whatever. Um, but they work really, really well. Amanda has her second batch of the oven. Look at you showing off all ahead of the game. Send some pictures. Chris. Uh, I'm sure she will post pictures. She's yeah, awesome post some pictures. It. See if we can get them on the screen here before the show's not over. I love that Amanda bakes along with me. Not only was it her idea, but she bakes along with me almost every week, and that is awesome. I super, super appreciate that. I, uh, I can make it so next week, if, if people post what they're baking, I can have a, another spot on the screen show up to show everybody else's baking. Yeah. At the same time, yeah. Have you... I can make that happen. Have you checked Facebook? Are you even part of my group, Dan? No, I was working on trying to also live stream it straight to Facebook, but that's not this week. No? No. No. Stream, stream Deck did me wrong. People. Um, Hillary posted, I'm assuming, yeah, the groundhog cookie recipe that she was talking about. Here, can you take this and put it on the screen? They're little okay, groundhogs. So That's adorable. When, I know again. Groundhog Day is coming up soon. Um, <laughs> random fact that I know. They look like E.T. So, <laughs> they do. Helen. Hel did you make this, Helen? No, what does that say on it? I don't know, but let's see. Whose like name? Oh, because I clicked off it. I think it was Hillary. Um, so I listened to this podcast. If you guys don't listen to this podcast, you should totally check it out. It's called Beautiful Stories from Anonymous People, shortened to Beautiful Anonymous. So it's this comedian, Chris Gethard, and he has people call in randomly. Just a random caller calls in and talks for an hour about whatever they want. And a few, maybe a couple months ago, somebody called in who said he's the biggest fan of Groundhog Day. He has a Groundhog Day website, and he, like gets all this information together about Groundhog Day. But one thing he was very adamant about is that it is not Groundhog's Day, plural. It is singular, Groundhog Day. So now I know that fun fact, and now you know that fun I fact. I have not seen that movie. I saw it and did not like it, and I've been thinking lately, maybe I should give it another chance, because people talk about it a lot, and people love it. Right. I was not a fan when I saw it when it came out. So there's that. Um, so I'm making a second batch. I don't know how well you can see that because those are here. I always, if I don't think I'm going to have a whole dozen to cook, I will always start in the middle so it'll cook more evenly. I don't want to spread out on one end. I will start down the middle and then go to the two ends in the middle if I need to go out further, which I'm not sure I'm going to need to. I think I made these a little big this time, but whichever. That one has a lot in it. These look so good. I'm, I'm just like dancing around here. Yeah, it's almost time to eat them. Don't worry, I gotta glaze them. That's right. And we'll make the glaze and glaze those before these are done, I'm sure. Those look really good. They have really good consistency. Yes. The, the dough. Um, Before we do the next scoop, could you hold the scoop up to the screen so we can check it out like right in this area here? Maybe. This could be my last scoop. Oh, okay. Because it looks... uh. It looks very, like, thick and not runny. Oh, you want to see the, the batter? Yeah, yeah, it, it, how it's thick and not runny. Yes. Okay, let me hold that. <laughs> this is going to be too much. Can you see it now? Oh, Sorry. thanks, Dan. Sorry. <laughs> um, I don't know how well you can see that what's going on. Oh, Jordan says Amanda posted a picture of the group. Yes, I got sidetracked with groundhog cookies. As soon as I get this into the oven, I will check the group again because I did see notifications popping up that Amanda had posted something and I assumed it was a part of what we were making tonight, but I just hadn't clicked on that. I got sidetracked. Dang, I just consented for you. <laughs> you did. You just shoved it in front of my face and went for it. Uh... Okay, click on notifications. Nope. And then there we go, okay. that top one. Okay, so here is, here, uh, what am I supposed to do with this? Um, that can go in the sink, in something that has water. In, nope. Okay. Are they out of order? All right, so here is, here, I gotta turn this light away real quick. I'm just turn it off. Okay, so here's the juice. The lemonade? Yes. Awesome. Yes. That looks really good. And here's another picture with the lemon aesthetically pleasing with the computer nice. shoved up there. I, <laughs> I imagine that's where... Uh, that's me! That, that's where mission control is. <laughs> yes. And then... Uh, ooh, wow. Let's see if I can turn it sideways. Here they are... Here they are done, and they have a really nice 
crisp. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh yeah. Nice. I feel I feel like Amanda went heavier than you did on the crumble, and I like that. Perhaps. Let me see if I can get. I, I'm always scared that I'm not gonna have enough for the second batch, so the second batch almost always has more crumble. All right, hold on. I'm getting focused. I'm getting focused here. There we go. It looks good. Okay, this is. Done. It looks really good. Yeah, I'm gonna have way extra crumble and, on this batch. And I see your aesthetics with the two lemons there. Too. Nice. Nice. Nice job. Good nice job. job. I want to know, Amanda said she had avocados that they needed to use up. Did you guys end up making guacamole with it? If you guys don't follow the Facebook group, Dan and I found some um, avocado on sale last week and decided to make some guacamole. It was so good. Why are I, they on sale, wait, bro? I think it was so good, but I'm not really sure if we can still taste things yet. <laughs> no, but since I couldn't taste it, I had like the memory of the best guacamole I ever had in my life. <laughs> waka waka like Oh bear. my gosh, it was triple wakas. And like, it, so I just imagined that when I ate it. Just the crunch of the chips and, and, the, and the texture, good enough for me. Why did you let me go so light on the first batch? I have so much topping right? for this batch. Right, I, I, you know, I'm gonna say you it. You know what happened? I think usually I split it in half. Amanda's first batch looks better. Looks better, looks yeah. Looks better. Yeah, good Crystal. job, good job, Amanda, you've shown me up. Step it up, baking show. <laughs> I'm trying. Move that out of the way, then we can see what I'm doing here. You need more up, up to you? There you go. No, I have like way too much topping. I really should have put more on the first batch. <laughs> Dan makes amazing guacamole. Send down that guacamole recipe. Right? We just kind of wing it. Oh my gosh, like you said, we Ben and Jerry'd it. We just kept adding and adding and adding stuff until we could taste just like tingles. Yes. It was good. It was we, good. We added a lot of cayenne pepper and chili powder, was it? Was that the other one? Yeah, we, yeah. I'm yeah. like, spicier, red peppers, pizza yeah. peppers. We just wanted to taste it. Can you take this cup out and put it back in there? Sure. Because I don't need that. Okay. These are going to be oh, no, there's super a lid. crumble top. Yeah, do super crumble top. That, that yeah. was inspiring. Amanda portioned hers out way better than I did, for sure. I like that. I need to get some more of those for you soon. Oh, Amanda said they failed and it's going bad on them. No, what, what don't is? waste the avocado. Oh, that's okay. If it's if it gets a little bad like that, it, where it starts getting mushy, that's where you can just scrape it out and avocado yes. it. Yeah, it still works. Right. Just, yep, yep. When in doubt, just just like scoop it and spin it, and it it gets green again. <laughs> it's true. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if this is gonna all be able to cook into the muffin because there's so much on top. You have to like avocado, you're from the west coast. Right, it's kind of our thing. I'm trying here. I gotta turn this light off, that looks better actually. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you see how I'm doing a good job this week to keep the lights out of your eyes because you have these blue eyes that are they're so sensitive to right. the light. When I go outside, they literally just clamp right. shut. So I've got the lights to uh, bounce off the walls instead. Appreciate you. I'm learning. All right. I'm let me listening. Just get this extra bit out of here because that's going to burn and add more color. Uh, Steve said, I'm here. Uh, dude, you missed like 20 oh, Steve, minutes. Steve, it's Steve. Steve, did you and Jen try the cookies yet? And how were they? How stale were they a month later when they finally Don't showed up? Don't eat them. Don't eat them. <laughs> Dan thinks you should not eat them at all. I think you should Dan, give it a shot, but would, don't judge me if they're not good because they're a month old. R riddle me this, bro. But they've been if, sealed the whole time. If you were to eat Han Solo in Return of the Jedi, if he was covered in chocolate carbonite and it was chocolate, you wouldn't do it because it was like a month later. Don't do it. Don't eat the stuff, dude. We threw all our equivalents to yours away. Or oh, yeah. All of our like leftovers Don't are do gone. It. They, Don't whatever, do it. Excuse me. Whatever we didn't eat has been thrown out. Like It, it was bad. Right. Don't eat the carbonite. But yours Don't has eat been the sealed. Carbonite. It's been sealed that whole month. Don't eat the carbonite. I'm going to eat it. They're gonna know. They're not gonna know. They're Amanda gonna know. said she did the same thing. She said that was the first batch. I piled the crumb on the second batch and had leftover to give to Chris. So yeah, see, you did the same thing. It's so hard to judge. Did you end up making a full two dozen, or did you end up like me, where what did I have seven in my second dozen? Oh, your lemonade vodka thing is amazing. I'm saying. Oh, I will say homemade lemonade like you did. 
like this much above the best lemonade I've ever had in my life. And Absolutely. I've, and I've had some good lemonade. Like because it's lemonade. not super sweet. It's that not is, super tart. That is perfect. That is perfect lemonade. Oh my gosh. Okay, Amanda, let me know if you are ready for the glaze on top of the muffins. So I since, always put wax paper or parchment paper underneath it so I don't get the extra glaze all over my counter. But since nobody is happy with the first batch of muffins, can we whip them at the wall like cupcakes like Bart Simpson did? Absolutely not. Huh. Absolutely Maybe on my birthday? Absolutely not. Lorna says, I tried your chocolate chip cookie recipe before Christmas and it's my new favorite recipe. That makes me so happy. I told you guys, I tried a million cookie recipes, chocolate chip cookie recipes. That one is on point. Sometimes I see recipes where the, the cookie looks a little bit better and I'm like, oh, maybe I should try it. But this is my go-to and I love it. We have some, when did we make those? A week ago? Yeah. They're still good. There's like, you still pull them out and they're still soft. That's the thing I love the most about them. They stay soft so long. It's amazing. I need to grab a tissue real quick because my nose is starting to run okay. a little bit. When you come back, we, we want to see what foot accessories you wear when you live stream. Hi everybody, it's me again. It's been a fun night. Oh my gosh, it's already like nine o'clock. You guys help make the night go by fast. It's been so fun since we're all stuck indoors doing this. It's like the right time, right? Like we all have like all this cool technology where we can stream all this stuff and have fun. It's been a lot of fun. Yes. Hi everybody. Gets the crumbs. I love that you, I, I was hoping Crystal would read that before she left. Chris gets the crumbs. I don't have any crumbs left. I have these crumbs, but these are uncooked crumbs. These look good. I'm excited to see what the next ones look like with more crumbs on them. Um, Crystal made these like like two weeks ago and they were fine. Like it all tastes good, like whatever. But all the all the blueberries sunk to the bottom in one corner. And these ones look like the blueberries are everywhere. So I don't know what she did different. I was telling them how like you made this a few weeks ago and all the blueberries for me like sunk to the corner. And, yes, um, and not on all of them. I think maybe they, it did it on one batch of them. Okay. And maybe maybe it was the case that maybe the ones that were sitting on the counter, maybe that's what happened. So maybe because I cooked this one up and they were freshly flowered. So let's see what happens with this right. second batch. Give your friends batch number two. Give your friends batch number two. Don't give your friends batch no, number one. No, give your friends batch number one because the, the blueberries are freshly flowered so they'll stay in place. So batch number two is going to look better. It's gonna have more topping, but I think maybe, let's see what happens when they come out. Maybe I didn't flower them enough. Maybe the blueberries weren't cold enough. I have no idea what went different. But these ones clearly look like they stayed. Yes. So who knows? But that's what I'm saying. Ooh, they were flowered right. and then put in there. Right. And that's and now it's now. And now it's now. Oh, you wanted to see my footwear. I have slipper boots. Yeah. With little balls on them. That works. Because they keep my ankles warm and I don't have to I don't have to curl my toes to keep my slippers on my feet right. because they're and, boots. And, and you went through literally four pairs of socks. Completely put on both feet. Look, not just one foot to see if it was good. Both feet. What did you end up with? Oh, the socks? I don't know if my pants will allow me to show it. Can you grab that camera? Because I'm not going to be able to... I'm not flexible enough to show on that one. <laughs> They say I have superpowers, but you can't really see it. So these came in a set with black socks with red and yellow stars all over them, which are one of my favorite pairs of socks ever. And when I put them on, they had a hole in the heel. And I was so sad. It was such a sad day in sock world. Oh my God, now I'm stuck. Since the vlogs and we were talking about how, let's just go over it again. Uh, how many uh, pair of socks <laughs> do you have? Okay, so I am completely addicted to pic picture socks. I only own picture socks. I do not own black socks, white socks, red socks. All my socks have pictures on them. Oh, um, I have like 200. <laughs> no joke, I literally have oh, probably over two. I haven't counted in a while. We counted in one of the vlogs a few years ago. I had over 200 pairs of socks, all with pictures on them. Um, not only that, back in like 98, 99, 2000, I worked at Claire's, you know, that ear piercing place. <laughs> the place that's now on Walmart. Oh, there's a Claire's in Walmart. They own the Walmart bottom. Did they? Is it was like happened? Monopoly. I think they got them dirt cheap. <laughs> oh, it's like, you know, for, makes me sad. For, for 49 cents more a day, you can have, you can have, uh, you can have a Claire's. You can have store. a Claire's, right. Oh, um, but I, so I used to work at Claire's and if you guys remember back in the late nineties, Claire's used to have this awesome deal. I don't know if they right. do it anymore because I'm a little old to be shopping at Claire's, but when stuff would go on clearance, after it had been on clearance for a while, they would turn it into the 10 for $5 section. 
while I worked at Claire's. So as soon as it went on 10 for $5, guess who snatched up all the good stuff? That's why you never find anything good on sale because the employees get it all. So I literally have socks that are older than Blake because they're from the late 90s and I have 200 pairs of socks. So I don't wear my socks out as fast. But you would be the girl that would sit there and, and untangle. You know that tangle that you guys would see? You would untangle the so, tangle, right? Yeah, when I was 17, maybe, I got my... I worked at Toys R Us like Christmas time, but I got my first real job, like not seasonal, working at Claire's when I was like 17. And there was one in the outlet mall and it was where all the sale stuff went to die. And the store was L-shaped and the back little L part was where all the sale stuff was and nobody cared about it. So it was just a big tangle. Nothing ever sold because it was a huge tangled mess of everything. What was popular then? Titanic? Oh, 99 Titanic yeah. came out? Oh, Heart of the Ocean. You know how many people came in looking for Heart of the Ocean necklace? Ridiculous. Another story. Hold on. You think someone so, in the chat owns one? <laughs> let me know if you own a Heart of the Ocean necklace. Uh, let me know if you own or owned the regular one that was like fancy like you wore it to prom. Or to back prom. in the day... Claire's had stuff that came on brown cards and it was like the alternative jewelry. And it wasn't like Hot Topic where you'd get a dog collar. You'd get the Heart of the Ocean that had like the darker metal and maybe tiny little spikes around it, but not like super spiky, but just a little bit spiky. It was just the alternative jewelry that was still kind of wearable. So I got my job at Claire's and I made it my mission because we were in the outlet mall. It was slow as heck. Nobody ever came in. I made it my mission to organize that entire section and I absolutely did and everything started selling. I moved up in that company so quick because I was just like, ah, little things I can organize. And within a year and a half, I managed my own store. And I worked there probably like two years or something. Terry knows. Terry's talking about the good old days. Terry got a job at Claire's with me too. I got her hired. Terry got her job because we were hiring for a sales girl. She called up my manager and sang her the Henry VIII song over and over. And said, I'm going to keep singing this. We were all friends and stuff. But she said, I'm going to keep singing this until you hire me. And Charma got sick of it. And Charma hired her. She was done with it. Well, was your manager like the Monty Python guy? No, it was Charma. Oh, we know yeah. Charma. Yeah, we were in sixth grade together. Um, how are you doing that drizzle? Town stuff. Oh, yeah. Let's get to that. Amanda's probably like, come on, girl. Let's do this. Ooh, but I'm, try I'm trying to. I'm, I, every now and then, I knew these things from like. Oh, I screwed up and I took my on. lemon bits out. And it's. Oh, no. Your lemon bits? It's been melting. Uh, I... you, you, can you show us the dr drama? Okay, so... Jeez. Well, it's a little freezer burn. Please don't judge me. So, here's my, my lemon ice cubes that mm -hmm. I keep, but I took it out so I could put the blueberries in there. I thought this was the oranges, the frozen oranges, but it's the lemon. And now there's lemon juice in the bottom, so I think I just have to thaw the whole thing and start over making ice cubes, because now they're not going to be a tablespoon. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you guys real quick the trick that I did with all the oranges that I got because I don't make a lot of stuff out of oranges. So I just peeled all the oranges and the segments and everything and laid them out on a cookie sheet and threw them in the freezer. Once they're frozen, then I just threw them in a, a Tupperware and then some in a Ziploc bag. And I've been throwing them in my smoothies in the morning. I usually buy frozen fruit for my fruit smoothies. I, I was digging I, the oranges. Yes. Digging Today the oranges. I felt like I didn't have a good proportion of stuff. Like the ratio of things was not right. It felt a little unflavored. Um, but yeah, we added some, some fresh frozen, fresh frozen? Is that a thing? Um, fresh frozen oranges that I peeled and put them in there and that worked really well so if you guys have oranges and they're starting to go bad know that you can peel them and lay them on a cookie sheet and freeze them and use them in smoothies uh, if that's yes. your thing were you able to post pictures of that yet of what of uh, i took uh, pictures of your frozen oranges i don't think you sent those to uh, me all right soon you'll have those and you, right. you guys will see an example good deal i love it when you flip through um the book i love it that you have a book that you writ like wrote in it looks so <laughs> cool like spells it's all my writing of my recipes that i made i think that's super we've fantastic. made both of these it's lemon blueberry muffins and the cinnamon toast crunch yep. drizzle cake that's that's fantastic i love that okay thanks i try next okay Hey, Amanda, you want to make some glaze for these? You're probably already done and went to bed. <laughs> All right, so the glaze is going to be a cup of powdered sugar and three tablespoons of lemon juice. The ratio of that is give or take. Um, you kind of want to make it whatever consistency you want. If it's too liquidy, it's going to soak in. If it's too thick, it's going to be more like a frosting. You want it to kind of barely soak in and then harden onto the top. I don't really know if I explained that well enough, but that's what you want it to do. 
So let's go with a cup of powdered sugar. Uh, super chat from Drea, as always, sending Kumiko. Has she even made an appearance? She's sleeping on the couch. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'll find her. Okay. Oh my gosh. I feel bad that I'm missing so many chats, but you guys are all, I hope that you guys are like chatting amongst yourselves and having good conversation and not just saying things to me that I'm not paying attention to. I love all of you guys. Like this little community that we made is really awesome. There's regularly like, let's say 60 to 100 people in most of what we do and you guys all talk to each other and that makes me happy. I feel like you guys have found some genuine friends in this group. Um, and these days with the internet, like, you don't have to know people to call them a friend. I consider most of you guys are friends, more, some of you more than others. Some of you are more like my people where I'm like, I got you. But all of you guys are my friends. I love this. I love, I, I wish we could interact a little bit more, but there's still the chat and I can still talk to you guys. You can talk to me even if I can't hear you. Drea says, I'm glad you guys came online. On live. I'm having a bad week. My glasses broke and my brother's car died on me. Oh my gosh. You guys are helping me stay sane. Don't feel bad. Blake's been wearing broken glasses for like the better part of a year. He got some new ones. His mom took him to the eye doctor and he got some new glasses, but the prescription wasn't right. And he couldn't get back in because then all this, you know, quarantine, all that stuff started and he couldn't get back into the eye doctor. He finally has an appointment on Monday to take those glasses back and tell the doctor to fix them, but he's got them super glued in two different places and he's just been rocking them. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera when he's in the videos, but yeah, he's, he's trying. He's making it work. All right, so I'm just gonna stir this to make sure if there's any little bits it's mixed up. I already pre-measured this last night so that I was ready to go. Um, it's going to be roughly a cup of powdered sugar, three tablespoons of lemon juice. What I do is I usually start with that mixture and then I see the consistency and see if I need to add more lemon juice or more powder brought my glasses. Did you bring your glasses? Can you, can you show us your sadness? <laughs> Aside from the fact that like the Ray-Ban logo is almost rubbed off, this is Blake's lens. Is this bad parenting? It's, it's glued here and here. Here's the thing. Blake's an adult. Yeah, but like, like this we is still like, take care of him. This but is Blake, Revenge of the Nerd stuff. How many times have I told you, make an eye doctor appointment, Blake? It's pandemic Blake. time. Well, make I an eye doctor it, appointment. Man. We, my insurance it's, is like, we're, what are we going to do? Hey, yep. America, welcome to America. Oh, this is way too liquidy. I should, oh, yeah? okay, hold I on. should not have help. added that Let much. <laughs> I measured it out, but yeah. It, Amanda, if you haven't added your liquid, go easy on the liquid and mix it and see what you think. But yeah, this is entirely too liquidy. The vodka's kicking in. Dan drank most of it, though, I will say. Yeah, it's not doing good things right now. Sometimes that happens and you have to waste more powdered sugar to fix it. What happened? I missed it. It's, I added too much. I, I pre-measured it last night, but I know better. I know to only add one tablespoon at a time. If you haven't already, add the lemon juice one tablespoon at a time and see how it goes. Because now I have to add a bunch of powdered sugar to see what I can fix. Um, I think I need a big whisk for this. You having a good time? Yeah. All right, we're getting there. So still way too liquidy. That's just gonna soak right in. For some reason I thought I was gonna be light on the lemon juice and I was very wrong. Anytime you make any sort of icing, glaze, whatever, where it's just like a powdered sugar and a liquid, whether it's milk, lemon juice, whatever you're adding to it, always put the, the required amount of powdered sugar and then add the lemon juice, milk, whatever it is, one bit at a time, tablespoon, teaspoon, whatever you have to add. Always add that liquid one bit at a time and then you can add more if you need to. Amanda got the second batch out of the oven and is waiting to see what your topping consistency looks like. I'm getting there, girl. I'm trying. So it's still pretty liquidy. 
I'm gonna add more powdered sugar. Steve with the super chat. If you guys haven't already, go check out Loki the Siberian. I think that's your name on everything. I think you have what? YouTube, Instagram, mm, Facebook, that TikTok. I heard TikTok. you got 50, yeah, like 50K or 70K. Nice, nice. Yeah, go check out his stuff. You'll mm. love his stuff. Dude, one of his dogs has one eye. How, like, you can't, like, that's the cuteness. <laughs> yes. You can't beat that. Yes, absolutely. Um, his super chat says, you guys have created a great community. I'm so glad to be able to call you guys my friends. You know, it's so interesting. Like, my friend Steve, I, I will say that in a sentence. You're my friend. I've never met you in real life. We're totally friends. We hang out. Sometimes we play Mario Kart. Sometimes we used to play Mario Kart. We haven't done that in a while. Any new tracks? Yes. I will say all the years we've live streamed and done stuff, um, the smaller tight knit community has been. I, we've been so fortunate that like we've banned basically nobody over the last what 10, 12 years. Like nobody, yeah, yeah. and everybody's been really super cool. And it hasn't been out of control, and that's what I appreciate the most. Uh, you guys kind of set the pace, and it's always chill. Yeah, we have and moderators. I don't think the moderators really have to do much of anything. Barely, just just when the public gets whiff of what we're doing, and they'll come in and be crazy. But like, yes. that's the part that's the best. Is it's so easy, like, and chill in the chat. I, I like that. I appreciate that yes. a lot. All right, I think I'm good here. <laughs> Jess says, I bet Steve, he's tall. Oh, I never thought of it. I don't ever think about anybody's height because I'm short, so everybody's taller than me. I'm only five four, so. Everybody's taller than me, pretty much. I imagine Jess Steve, isn't. Jess I, is shorter than me. I imagine Steve being tall. Yeah, everybody's tall. Tall and like just like Canadian, like soup, like just like gangly Canadian, you know? Yeah. <laughs> right. It's weird because I know his voice really well, and I, for some reason, like your face and your voice don't all. I've seen your videos. I've seen you talk. It doesn't match up because I heard your voice so much before that like you get that idea of what somebody looks like, and I'm like, oh yeah. I that's what he sounds like. Funny. <laughs> Chris says, you banned nobody? Is that a challenge? Are you looking to get banned, bro? We could ban you. All right. uh, super chat from Jordan. Whenever I try to promote Dan Tanks, I, I'm always saying, my friend Dan, you guys are friends. You're family. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you, Jordan. Yeah. We appreciate you. It's, we absolutely consider you a friend. It's fun for us. We're not robots. Okay. Let me see if I can get this. Your, can we get the light on? Maybe that'll help. Light work? Right here? This, this light. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Hold I, on. I want to be able to show Amanda the consistency. Okay. So it's a little bit thick. How do you describe a consistency without you being able to, like, oh, just touch it? <laughs> it's good enough to, like, just keep doing it. That's what the stream looks like. So just... Okay. And you can try to, like, visualize, visualize it. I'm sure there's, like, technical terms for, like, get it to look oh. like this, but... Get it to look like this, Amanda. Yeah, see how fast it goes away? I have quite a lot. It doesn't go too fast, though. It's not too liquidy. It's still a little bit thick. I have quite a lot of glaze because I had to add probably like half a cup to a cup more. Steve says he's 6'3". That's back ache oh, tall. Oh, you're, you're like, uh, I have to look up at you. You're yeah. almost a full foot taller than me. Sorry, bro. Back ache tall. That's yeah. bad. That's bad, bro. All right. Let me take this off of here so it doesn't harden. Okay, I have six more minutes for that, but I can go ahead and glaze these. I'm just gonna push them all to one side so I have room. So when I glaze, I do this anyway, where um, push them all together. If you have gaps between them, then the glaze is gonna fall through those gaps and you're gonna lose more glaze than you would anyway. You're gonna lose, if, if you glaze the way I do, I just go for it. You can't do it wrong, I promise. So this will kind of like harden on there. So later on, like tomorrow, the next day, whatever, it'll it's a, it'll be more solid. It's a spoonful and then pour the opposite of the scooper? Huh? Uh, the way you're pouring it, I, I noticed. The opposite of the scooper? It doesn't matter. You can go whichever way you want, but I just take a spoon. You can do it with whatever you want, but this is how I always glaze things. I just... Back and forth like this. Your glaze has been good because the fat parts and the thin parts are all like yes. appreciated. I like for it to be a little bit uneven. I don't, you don't frost it. You just drizzle it on there. Um, and you can go like one direction and then the other direction if you wanted to do it that way. It's gonna, you know, this one got a lot more extra on that one. So it's kind of melting down, well not melting, uh, drizz drizzling down a little bit more. 
But just go for it as much or as little as you want. If you don't like it, it's sweet. Um, my old Mexican coworker hated any time I'd put, like, frosting on stuff. So <coughs> I would either leave it off completely or I would just go really, really light so you could get a little bit of that flavor but not overdo it. You know, Mexican candies aren't usually as sweet, so he didn't like my super sweet stuff. He would straight peel off the top layer on some of these things like this that I would make and just not eat it because it would be too much for him. Really? Yeah, yeah, Carlos, the, the lemon cream cheese coffee cake that I would make, uh -huh. he didn't eat the top layer of it because he didn't like the glaze on the top. It was too sweet for Dude, him. Dude, come on. But you know, I get it. Too sweet. I saw that bag of Mexican so, candy. <laughs> right. They, they like different flavors. Um, You finished my drink. Oh, uh, yes, uh, <laughs> another one for you. Yeah. These look great, Crystal. Thanks. Uh, honestly, they look like how they always do. Yeah, they're pretty easy. I promise you it doesn't take three hours to make this muffin. It's because I talk so much. That's all. All right. All right. So ice, where are you? Ice. Kind of shake it down to the bottom. About a third of the cup vodka. You can't see. Yeah, we can. Okay, on that one you can. Third of the no, cup vodka. Sure. But it's not really a third of the cup because the ice is in there. Uh, there's multiple cats on the floor. Please be careful. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> it's a maze. And top it off with lemonade. You never even tried the simple syrup plain, did you? Uh, no. <laughs> that bit is done. That bit's done? That you over it? Done. All right. <laughs> vodka. Is that an authentic Russian vodka? We talked about this earlier, Steve. You missed it. It's it's second from the bottom shelf. That's that's some pinnacle vodka. Six ninety nine a bottle if you bought two. That's how I do. You were excited about that. I was because it's normally ten dollars a bottle and it was six ninety nine. That's like half a bottle free. Drea says, "OMG, the lemonade looks so amazing. I wish you guys could taste it. I really hope that you guys make this. It's um, good. It's the best lemonade I've ever had because of the not." Um, I feel like lemonade gets a stereotype of a better pucker your lips. Yes, and, and this it doesn't do doesn't? that. It's not super tangy. It's not going to make you like like you bit into a lemon. It's a really good balance. It's really refreshing more than anything I, I, else. Yes, um, um, it's a hot weather. Yes, it's yeah, hot weather. I usually make this in the summertime. Right. Um, because some, it's so refreshing in the summertime. Sometimes you 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 get hot and you crack open something to drink it. And it's all sticky and like cokeish in the summertime. That's good because it's got a hint of it, but it still feels. I guess hydrating, but not. It's not sticky. Yeah. Ants, ants don't prefer this lemonade. <laughs> that, you can't make that yes. claim. It does have sugar in it. <laughs> but not, no, yeah. Okay, fine. It's good stuff. I'm going to scroll up because I know I missed some chat while I was glazing. Okay. There you go. I have one more minute there. Uh, let's see. What happened over here? How are you feeling? Um, I'm good, but I'm sure as soon as we're done, I'm gonna be like, <sighs> like the Energizer Bunny when it runs out. Uh, let's see. Oh, back here where we were talking about. Oh, uh, Jess said she met PJ in real life too. So did Dan. I did not. I met Sarah in real life. We uh, had lunch with Sarah. If if I could describe PJ in like one words, two words, a uh, big hug. He's big. Hug. <laughs> Is he? He just always oh. feel. He always just feels like a hug. Everybody's putting their height in here. I'm very interested because when you see pictures, you can't tell how tall people are. Um, Drea's four eleven. You you all are my people. Drea's four eleven. Mouse is five foot. Hannah's five two. Amanda's only five foot. PJ's six two. I I would not guess he was that tall. Yeah, he bends over. <laughs> Does he? Yeah. Drea's four eleven. I think I read that already. Drea was four eleven. Uh. Yeah, y'all are my people. Y'all are my short people. Y'all are grabbing stools and dans to grab stuff off the high cabinet. You know what the best thing about Blake being an adult is? He's like six feet tall or just a hair under six feet. He can reach the top cupboards. I'm always just like, hey, can you grab that for me? Because I can't reach it. I help a lot of people at the store. Yes. I'm going to go another couple minutes on that so I can brown them up a little more like how All Amanda's right. looked. I was really happy recently. There was a little old lady who totally reminded me of my little Italian aunt who was probably about this big and she was struggling so hard to reach something. And I was like, I got you. Let me get that for you. And she's like, so oh, the you, middle shelf. you could just tell. I said, look, I'm the tallest person in my family. My brother's taller than me, but like of the, the women here and stuff. Yeah, most people are, are 
about my height. My mom's only five foot and a half of an inch. I'm lucky. Oh, let's see. Oh, Steve says it's always great to be tall at concerts. You know, the, the opposite of that is it's great to be short because if someone tall is in front of you, you can just be like, I can't see. And they're like, oh, go ahead because they can see right over your head. You ditch me and just go. Oh, I do. When I get to a concert, I'm just like, I'll catch you later. And I run up to the front. I just, I'm little. I just poke my way through everybody and I get up to the front. I don't want to be at a show and sit in a chair, sit in the back and watch. I want to be right up in the front with the action. I want to feel the spit and the sweat coming off of people when they're singing. I love it. Chris said, Oompa Loompa Crew. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Megan's 5'4", almost 5'5". Five five. That's, that's me, 5'4". Misty fan named Jen is 5'1". Dang. Terry's 5'7". So Terry's tall to me. Terry's like tall and lanky. She's my big friend. Husky Tails is 5' foot even. Becky's 5'4". Oh, who knew? It was all my people. Catherine Chan's 5'4". That's why that camera angle. <laughs> right. Look at me. Yeah, Dan comes in the camera angle in the shot and his head's cut off. Yeah, tomorrow gets different. Yes. And I'm only 5'10". Yeah. There's two different camera setups depending on if 5'4 or 5'10 is in the game. Oh, uh, let's see. Mouse with another super chat. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. The drinks and the muffins look awesome, guys. People in chat were betting on if I put another super chat. I caved. This is my last one, though. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate all your super chats. Oh, what else? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Jordan's laughing that they got Mouse to do it. <laughs> Amanda said she posted a final picture of the muffins. We will have to check that out. You want them browner, Dan? Uh, put them up in a snowstorm. Do you want them browner? Uh, no, I think that's probably perfect. Yeah? Yeah, okay. yeah, I think that's golden brown. Barely golden brown. <laughs> oh, this is getting warm. Okay. I don't want to ice these too soon because they're warm and it's just going to melt that glaze. <laughs> my second batch is much bigger than my first batch. A little bit. They're like taller. Yes. I think I was just done and just scooping a bunch in there. And then it had a bunch more topping. Okay, I need to move these over. When I'm distracted by talking to everybody, I feel like I don't focus as much on my baking and everything still no, comes it, out good. Uh, it's it's like another ball to juggle. Yes. Uh, you, you'll get it. You're doing very well this week. This is your best week yet. Thanks. Yeah. I try. It's, it's, are you in the groove a little bit? I, again, I didn't you were, talk to anybody for weeks. You were drained five minutes before we started. I was like, I'm done. Today, look, I've talked before about how my job, like, I just sit at a desk and answer phones. Today was not that day. Our office is like a big rectangle, and my desk is at one end, and I cannot even tell you how many laps I made back and forth. Um, I had to go into a room and, like, bind up some papers and whatever. Um, but when the phone rings, I had to run back to my desk. So I ran a lot today, and I was just back and forth. I, If I had a step counter, it would be off the chart today. You should get a step counter. I don't care how many steps I take. Oh, let's see. All right. Whenever you're ready, I will show you pictures of Amanda's stuff. Okay. Steve says, the mosh pits always juggle the order on the floor. Um, I'm always ahead of the mosh pit. You're the pit ogre. And then when it starts, I go run it in, and I do my lap, but I time it so I can get right back out in the front again. You do laps. Yeah. Yeah. I do my laps. Um, I feel like over the years... For the shows I go to, the pits have gotten sparser. Like, there's not as many people in it, but people tend to be more violent. But being a five foot four girl, people tend to look out for you. I don't really get punched in the face or anything, but people, people especially that are not in the pit, I feel like the younger crowd, like, I'm 40. The kids that are at shows that are like 25, they don't really understand the mosh pit, so they don't generally tend to get in it. And they stand on the outside and they get mad and they shove you as hard as they can. So as you're trying to go around, there's a lot of this going on where you're like falling over into the center. Like they don't really understand. You're supposed to kind of like nudge and guide people, but they like trying to shove you down. So I'm usually good for like two or three laps at a time. And then it's hard. People don't get it. Drea wants to know if, if we have tagine and chamoy. I do not make a tagine rim with your lemon. I think that's like Hispanic food. I don't know if that's a flavor I think that that's I like. A spicy hot stuff. Yes. Oh my god, Amanda's look amazing. Let's show Amanda's. They look perfect. Oh, let me let me get a slice. 
Yeah, those look like cookbook worthy photos. That's awesome. I have one more. You photo. did a really good job. Heck yeah, girl. You go. You should be very proud of those. I don't know if you are already, but you should be if it's, you're not. It's interesting how I love yours. They look good, but I desire these. Like, like <laughs> Those like, are different. Yeah, look. Look how good those look. It Would looks you... like she went two directions with the icing, maybe? Yeah, like, so that's good. I like it. It looks crispy. Yeah, they look really, really good. Like, if I saw that on a shelf, I'd try it. I'd buy it at a bakery. Good job. I am impressed. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to catch up on chat. Okay. Jordan says, I'm offended. I'm 25 and I've been in a mosh pit. Look, I'm not generalizing everybody. I'm just saying from the shows that I've right. been to and what I've seen, the older people tend to not be as afraid and the younger people tend to be Cage like the elephant shovey. The mouse the mosh pit. What? How do you like that? Yes, Steve, we do go to different shows. Lamb of God pits are probably a little crazier than real big fish. Absolutely. Definitely, absolutely. Even when they have Real Big Fish, I don't know if you know, has a song about being in the pit. When I'm in the pit, I'm gonna punch and kick. That's my favorite. I've actually only seen Real Big Fish once. I had the opportunity the other times, but things didn't work out. And I was so excited to go into the Real Big Fish pit when the Real Big Fish song in the pit was playing. I don't know if that's what it's called. Did you punch and kick? I punched and kicked. Did kick. you use your patented shin kick? I don't think that, I, I don't think that that kick works when you're like, Skanking around. Okay, yeah, well, yeah. keep on skanking. Chris says, I'm eating them for breakfast. I, I will definitely, this is, I like to make these on a Sunday night. Now that we're doing this on Friday, it kind of throws me off. But my go-to is to make something I can have for breakfast all week. Um, if you guys are a part of the group, you see I made, I actually have one left, I think. Where did it go? It's a little sad because it's been a week and it was in Tupperware all week. <laughs> oh, the icing kind of melted oh, in. It's like shrunken head. Yeah, but it's delicious. I made banana muffins. This is a really good recipe that I think I will probably show you guys at some point. It was a new recipe that I tried, but it's a banana streusel glazed muffin. They were really, really good. So I've been eating that all week. Next week, it's lemon blueberry muffins. Whoa! Tails and Mooch were just fighting on top of the taco truck, and I don't know what Tails did, but Mooch went flailing off and landed on his side, and now he's mad. How episodic. It was. All right, guys, I think we're done. Yes. And uh, we've, we've been at this a really uh, long is, time. Uh, speak now or forever hold your Yeah, peace. whatever else you guys got to say, say it in the chat. Um... Thank you all for joining us for Lemonade, Lemon Blueberry Muffins. Thank you, Amanda and Chris, for baking along with us. I really, really appreciate that. I, I shouldn't say Amanda and Chris. I'm sure Amanda was doing all the work because I know how it goes. Um, if you guys don't already, please go to Facebook. There's a page and there's a group. The page is mostly for me to post what's going on, although you're welcome to post there. It's just a little trickier to find the posts from other people. The group is where I would encourage you guys to go post your own recipes. Um, Which we're getting a lot per day. Yes, yes. People are definitely utilizing that, and that's awesome, and that I, I super appreciate. That That was the goal of that. That's why I made the group on top of the page, because I wanted you guys to be able to post what you were making, and you guys are utilizing that, and I absolutely love it. The group is growing really well. Share it with your friends. Invite your friends. If you have friends that bake, want to bake, like food, anything like that, please share it. Invite your friends. I don't know how that works. It's a closed group, so you have to ask to be... Um, added to the group, but I add everybody. Like, I'm pretty indiscriminate. Unless you give me a reason that I gotta kick you out, come in the group. Enjoy. Let's have fun. So, go on there, add yourself to that group if you haven't already, and I will approve you. Um, post what you're making. I don't care if it is meat related, just because I'm a vegetarian, I don't care. Post whatever. Desserts, breakfast, dinners, whatever you make, let's see it. Even if it didn't turn out that good and you're like, hey guys, laugh at my stuff. Let's do it. Let's see it. Um, post your recipes so we can make your stuff. Some of you guys are making really awesome things. Um, all you guys are making awesome things, but I know everybody kind of went nuts for Sarah's Death by Chocolate, um, and she posted the, the recipe in there, and people were excited about that. We are going to have to try that at some point. Um, so yeah, follow that. Look for new stuff to come soon. I don't want to talk too much about it because I don't know what my time frame looks like, but I am working on some new stuff for you guys. Um, Follow this channel, subscribe so you can get notified. Hit the like button if you haven't already. We got a couple more super chats Steve, here. Steve, real quick, try to put the record scratch. <laughs> I moshed to some 41 and that was a wild show. What a bully. <laughs> what a bully. I, I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> oh no, those poor kids. Oh geez, wow. 
Uh, let's see. Mouse, it's your birthday next Thursday. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Well, you, happy birthday. I'm sure we'll talk to you tomorrow unless you got something going on. So if we don't, happy birthday. Do you, you know what in, you're we'll, making next week? Dan will sing you happy birthday next oh, week no. on Dan Text uh, tomorrow. I can't because it's okay. You can. It's, it's um, so do you know what you're making next I week? I do not, but the recipe will go up on Monday. I plan to try to okay. get back on my re regular schedule now that we're back to real life. So check the Facebook page and group on Monday, and I will post what we're making next week. Oh my gosh, happy um, birthday. Uh, let's guess her age. I, that You don't do that for women, Dan. No, don't. no, no. 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 Man, we're fun. no. It's fun time. It's 2021. No, because if you're over, it's insulting. You don't do it to women. Stop. I promise you don't do that. Amanda with a super chat says, no drinking due to antibiotics that I cannot drink them. Boo. Tonight is the third night after they are finished. I will add vodka to the lemonade tomorrow. Yay. You turned it around. Good. Awesome. Yay. Let me know what you think. I'm assuming you tried the lemonade. Let me know what you think of the flavor of it. Um, and then let me know what you think of the vodka with the lemonade. Uh, before we get out of here, what what happens after we shut off the stream? Um, I need to hurry up. Look, this is already starting to set. Let's so do it. Before we get out of here, let's I, do that. I just need to glaze the last of these. You guys may depart as you wish. Look, if you um, look at these, there's but... less blueberries on top. So I think that is the case that the first batch, like a couple of these okay. are okay. So, but I think the first batch, the blueberries are more coated in flour right, and you stay can, and up see better. Because why? Because they're coated in flour so they don't sink. I think after they've been sitting on the counter for half an hour while the first batch bakes, I think they start to lose some of that resiliency. So the stay faster the, the better when it comes to this. Yes. Okay. Okay. But That's good, unless though. you have a 24 cup muffin so pan. maybe for this one you want to give the good ones to the good people on the first batch yes okay and add um, more wait. add more topping crystal can i save this by putting it directly in the fridge after i scoop them and then come back to keep them from kind of just like um like that's like a question for somebody that has more knowledge right than like I like do. like maybe it slows it down i don't know maybe it slows it down but i will say these are good refrigerated um, or they're good at room temperature. I usually throw them in some Tupperware and just throw them in my lunch bag and take them to work. Um, and eat them like a couple hours after I get there when I'm finally hungry for breakfast. So they're good warm, they're good cold, they're good for breakfast, they're good for dessert, whatever you want to do. Um, uh, Missy FanDMG and I clicked to join the group. Hopefully I will get accepted. Everybody's accepted unless you give me a reason to kick you out. I'll, I'll give everybody a chance. I am not afraid. Husky Tail says, I'm sending you a package with some amazing smelling wax melts and a scent pack. Awesome, I appreciate that. That's exciting. Um, Steve did post the link to the Facebook. I don't know if it's the group or the paid. No, wait. What is that? Uh, yeah, the Facebook group or page, it doesn't tell me. It's a way so. to get in contact. Yeah, one or the other. Search for it. They should both come up. I'm not really sure how that works. Um, Leslie, thank you for the entertainment. Good night. Love you all more. Love you, Leslie. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much. I'm trying to get through some stuff. Everybody's suggesting some recipes all the time. I do make a note of everything. I, I try. We'll get to it. Uh, Amanda says, lemonade is really yummy, not too sweet or too tart. I'm not a fan of tart lemonade. Yes, awesome. Um, okay, so that is the link to the page. Steve says it won't let him share the link to the group. So I think there's a link on the page to the group. So click through that and try to add yourself. The group is where you can put your stuff. The page is where you get info about the stuff. Yes. I learned. It's yes. hard. Have you learned? Jess has been beaten in my head. Yes, that, for, and that's uh, what wait, I've been wait, doing. For like, for, for like five years. <laughs> for like five years. Okay, guys, okay. that's all. Thank you so much for joining us for this super long episode that wasn't supposed to be this long. Really appreciate you guys. Have fun. Bake. Get baked. Big things. Good night. Bye.